Hello, my friends. Last week on stream, I invited a very special guest for a very special challenge. Seventh Ace, among other things, is a world record holder for the StarCraft Brood War Zerg campaign speedrun, and I wanted to challenge him to the campaign that he dominates. The twist? We're playing on Mass Recall, the fan remake of StarCraft 1's campaigns into the StarCraft 2 client. I picked the game, and then to ensure that I couldn't do any pre-prep, Ace got to pick the difficulty and any other rules. He opted for normal difficulty, extra heroes enabled, and extra hero abilities enabled. So this will be a battle between Ace's intimate knowledge with the StarCraft 1 Brood War campaign maps and strategies, and my larger breadth of experience with the StarCraft 2 engine. If you want to see both of our perspectives, check out the description for a multi-video link where you can watch everything perfectly synced up. Hope you enjoy! Three, two, one, go. It's not a Brood War speedrun without a reset before Vile Disruption even starts. <laughs> So what's your plan, Ace? Do you have one? Because I sure don't. Uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, that's what I'm feeling yeah. as well. This is a great plan. Can I hit the S key to start? No, I have to click the button. Oh, I hope we don't have to watch these like cutscenes. I know that you can skip them eventually, but like some of the stuff. There we go. Okay, I hit escape, and it yeah, worked. you have to like wait a bit. Oh, that took a while for it to load in for me. Why do I have five hunter killers? Why isn't the hive rescuing? Grant, what is this? <laughs> Wait, what's oh, wrong with God. your hive? It's fine, it eventually got there. So it's just like the base game? <laughs> no, it took so much longer. <gasps> Those five hydras are making a full wall. I can't do that. Oh my goodness, you're way ahead of me. You'll have to make do with the warriors you have. Slaughter the dissident Zerg in my name. Whoa, they are like... One of my hives is a quarter dead already. Oh, God. I can't rescue Hive 3! No! My, stop! How are you of Hive 3 already? God, you're going so much faster than me. This is terrible. There it is. I'm choosing to be safe and not sorry because I have a feeling this is one where if you go too crazy, you could easily just be eliminated, you know? I bet he's already used a Scourge to kill all the Guardians, that loser. That'd be crazy. Anyway, how about high four? Okay, uh... This is fine. It's going great. Alright, capture. Wait, do we knock it? Oh. I thought we didn't get hit by the on Hive Four the attack that comes from the top. I was like so prepared yeah. for it. Come on, rescue! Thank you. Do you think there's like some units that you have to kill before some of them will rescue? I think so. I think you're exactly right there. Yeah, that's. Oh gosh, I got a nice little lag spike right as the ultralisks. Oh boy, <laughs> I have a uh, six units. Oh, okay. Hey, that's good for Grant. Yeah, none of the uh, none of the hives let me capture them whatsoever. I think I have to kill so many enemies. Okay, well. Yeah, this is the thing. Is uh, I'm I'm banking on the fact that it's going to work just slightly different from what you're expecting, and that's going to be. Oh, I make. Whoa! Yeah. No, what? Unfaithful. <laughs> Wait, the uh, oh the fourth hive. I said there was a top attack that just like didn't show up, and then it showed up way later, and it killed my hive. <laughs> I've got a problem. Uh, I hope it's as bad as my problem because I just had to restart. Uh, I have three units, and thank goodness I got through the Nidus Canal. <laughs> oh no, you're uh, so far ahead of me now. <laughs> they might kill the hive though. Oh, that'd be good. Oh, God. Oh, go. Go, boys, go. Oh, Where's no. the hive? <laughs> it is hard there to parse is. Uh, Mass Recall, isn't it? Oh, God. Okay. Back through the Nidus, everybody. We gotta go. We gotta go. The Nidus is dead. I can't get back. Wait, are you soft locked? I could be. I might be. Yo. <laughs> Chad, I might be ahead. No. I failed first. <laughs> oh, the hive's died. Reload. 
So there's something weird with the triggers on this map, and it's not yeah. the weird things with the triggers on this map in the base game, which is also really messy. This is beautiful. <laughs> oh. oh no, it's. I was hoping they would do the whole walk to hive, capture it kind of thing. Instead, they did not, and I'm in deep uh, issues. Yeah. Oh god. Man, so did I explain what happened to mine? Because it was so stupid. No. So, you know, Hive 4 has the attack that comes from the top and the bottom, right? Uh, yeah, or not yeah, top yeah. and bottom, but the top and left. Uh, the top attack just never spawned. I got all the oh, way nice. past the Ultras onto the final island, then that attack spawned and killed the Hive. Oh my goodness. Like, it, I was just halfway across the map. <laughs> and usually, yeah. when you capture that Hive, it's supposed to spawn. Oh, oh my goodness. Man. This is great. We're both being punished by our knowledge of how it's supposed to work, and then it doesn't work that way, and we end up in... Oh, terrible, terrible I have, place. Like, I I uh, did not have enough queens to kill all the ultralisks. Oh. Because I uh, lost too many units, so I ended up having, like, three ultralisks attacking the sixth hive. And oh. that's what ended up getting it at the end. Okay. Chat, I have an idea. Calm. I think that these guys were the issue. I think that we have to sequence this, like, really, really deliberately in exactly the order. And that was... That was causing all the problems. Maybe. Why isn't this attack Defi spawning? <laughs> Defiler, go. Okay, good, 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 good. Go, Defiler, boy. The real advantage that Ace has had so far is actually saving and reloading instead of starting from the beginning. Oh yeah, I forgot about saving. Hi, Ektar. I told Hi. you there would be commentary. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Hi, <laughs> Hector. <laughs> Did you think that his awkwardly described wink was to you? Uh, maybe. I hit quit instead of continue. Not a great start, so I'm reloading the uh, main menu. But I am done with mission one. So I'm How do you save in StarCraft Two? Oh, Control Q. There we go. Oh God, I don't remember the quick save button. Control Anyways. Q. Don't worry, I figured it out. Thank you. No problem. I disabled my sound though. <laughs> oh man okay can the Tarask win this mission that's going to be a great <laughs> question and I hope that you figure out the answer is no for me so I don't have to try <laughs> uh, advantage we have better pathfinding disadvantage it's mass recall okay there's the difficulty selector thank you Marathon you guys in here try to actually win this mission. No R and Gem. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. It's important. Uh, where are the other Zergles? In there. Yeah, why is this hive so far south? I know that you're way ahead of me because life is pain, but there we go. Now, do I remember if you? It's not looking good, chat. I know this is only like the three minute mark, but like, it's not looking good. So Ektar, you may see the X factor on my stream that is going to be the catalyst for strategies. There's no guarantee that Ektar is still here. That's I told true. him to pop in and out whenever he felt like it. Oh, okay. <laughs> cool. A good old 746 vial disruption. We're speed running. Let's go. <laughs> oh, I hit quit too. Well, I guess we're on. Yep, it's uh, in the it's in the location that you'd expect uh quit not to be. Yeah, it's <laughs> perfectly designed to be a sobator. Oh no. Come on. You know when you're in a hurry, like every single time Windows is like, this is the perfect time to have the uh blue ring replace your cursor and the screen become oh, white perfect. for a little bit. It, yeah, it no doesn't problem. actually crash, but it's just like I'm gonna I'm gonna tease you a little bit, scare you. Go 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 go. Okay, let's do this. Huh? Well, that's cool. If you take a specific path, you never get hit by the uh, tank. Oh, good to know. Uh, having infested Kerrigan changes stuff, but she has to survive. It sure does. It does change the calculus just a bit. <laughs> this SCV looks so silly with the side disruptor. <laughs> oh, 
Have you beaten Mission 2? I'm trying my very best. Uh oh. That sounds like the uh, phrasing of someone who is currently attacking a side disruptor. Uh, it's currently the person trying to read Kerrigan's abilities. Oh, yeah. Uh, ensnare, Razor Swarm, Consume, and Implosion, apparently. Uh, does Kerrigan have to survive? Yes. You sure about that? Wait. That would be a problem. Kerrigan must survive. Yeah, it says in the... I hope oh, so. Oh, no! <laughs> well, reload. Hey, good start. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, we can do this. We can totally do this. <laughs> the One of the two of us can totally do this. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm listening. So she has five abilities at the bottom. These are hard. <laughs> Starcraft 1 doesn't have that level of micro. Oh, I can't do it. There's not enough room on the command card. Okay, let's try this again. Let's do that. Oh gosh. Everything is just like slightly differently placed than you expect it to be. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. No, yes. I know exactly what you mean. Yeah, it's like when you come home and you have carbon monoxide poisoning and you've moved everything a little bit, which I'm sure happens all the time. Regular experience. Well, this is where I make my comeback, boys. Wait, if you grab the Tarask and you haven't grabbed the drones and stuff yet, he still leaves? That's not how triggers should work. Oh, that's, uh... It's very rude. Oh gosh, Kerrigan does have to survive. What a terrible, terrible fate. I have I have Kerrigan in the corner of the base, no cloak with 12, 13 health and 6 energy. I have to reload. No. Nice. Oh, this is the command center. What am I doing? I'm just like attacking the wrong thing. Well. Come on, come on. I could I don't think the side disruptor has burn in this, uh... Oh, that changes so the map I ended a little up, bit. So I had it low enough where I could technically let it burn. Well, I had um, to reload too. Does that mean that we're caught up? Like, we're in the same position? I think so. I have a save, like, right before the attack. If we have to macro this, that'd be so funny. Oh, it'd be hilarious. Oh, Master Recall loading times. They're trying their best. They really are. Okay. Go, boys, go. Your save sounds like it's in a better position than mine. This is, uh, this is very... Mission scary. accomplished. Good work. Wait, really? Well done. Oh, God. Let me skip the cutscene. Save, load. No. Can't do it. Okay, we did it without a, uh... I built the base just in case, but I didn't need it. Oh Welcome everybody gosh. from Grant's stream as well. Kurgan uh, check is out the multi. So vulnerable. She is. She is really not very tanky. Where's uh, men, she... guys? <laughs> Should have given her heroic fortitude. Yeah, maybe heroic fiveitude. You know what? It's probably faster to return to the StarCraft Mass Recall menu and then reload mission three without watching the cutscene. That's RTA strats. Oh my gosh, why is it lagging? No. Also, good luck with our IGT calculations with this many reloads. Oh yeah, that sounds really fun. You're the one that wanted it. Oh. Oh, I am not in a good position here. Or maybe I'm in an okay position. I need to, I need to cry. I have all 10 unlocked previously, Sorrel, so maybe I'm cheating by doing that. I, I will cease doing it if Grant doesn't have all 10 unlocked. I don't have anything unlocked. Uh, okay, I can't target I heroic units with consume? Well. <laughs> okay, then I won't do that. 
Oh my goodness, guys, this is not a good position to be in. Oh, no, 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 no. I thought I could just consume a heroic unit to get energy back for Kerrigan, but apparently I'm not allowed to do that. That, uh... Oh my god, Phoenix is so responsive. <laughs> His range is really short, though. He's got six. Oh, does he? I thought he had four. Oh, I'm going to get so punished on KMC. <laughs> Good. Oh, no. Oh, why are there so many Goliaths up here? What are they doing? Oh, no. I sure hope this works. Uh, I would have this if it weren't for... Can't I just, consume heroic. I don't know what to do. I'm like, I, I feel like I'm locked. I did a quick save over a quick save, and... Oh, no. I'm in a bad position. I feel completely locked out of this. I feel like I just have to keep trying. But uh, she runs out of cloak, like, right before, and she's in such a good position besides that. I can have all my hatcheries on one hotkey. I almost that almost feels wrong. Oh my gosh! Just shoot the tank. I'll tell you, vision trying to shoot the tank with hunter killers is worse than trying to do it in StarCraft One. I think I have it. Oh, thank goodness. This was uh, really spooky for me. Now I'm going to have to make a comeback. Yeah, you're definitely right that it doesn't burn for whatever reason. Yeah. Yeah, so I tried coming in from the top, start. and that was a... It was way tougher from the top. What? Okay. No! <laughs> no! What? Car no, no, no. Do not give me a defeat screen. Are you serious? What's happening? Did she die post? Yeah, uh, she died post thing, but I think I got to the score screen. Yeah, I did. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. A, what? No! Yeah. Defeat! This is... That's not fair! I, I'm allowing it. If it gives you the third mission, you get the third mission. I don't know if it... Oh, man. That's some nonsense. Why would they let her die in a cutscene? Like, that's just... so <laughs> stupid. I even split already. Deaths and cutscenes don't even count in Giant Grant Games' deathless videos. Oh, my goodness. Well, let's see. It didn't unlock. Oh, my goodness. Well, I am really, really sad. <laughs> oh, no. I don't know what my undo split button is, so... Uh... Let's see. While I'm in this loading screen, I can pop it up. Undo split next. What is the next button? Thank you, Marathon. Whatever. Yeah, no, I won't. I won't do any cutscene. Oh. oh my gosh, I got the alt bug. No, come on, game. Just. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I'm so pissed. Like. <laughs> um, why do we have it? That's the thing. I got it, it, but the extra hero enabled killed me. Ironic, isn't it? I know. I shouldn't have let you have any power. Okay, alt bug is fixed. I have any music on? There's like this mass recall music is inconsistent. Yeah, I can't. Oh, I'm really, really tilted right now. I'm not entirely sure what to do. Um. Like, even in StarCraft 1, stuff just becomes invulnerable at the end, besides that one <laughs> Zeratul and that one Duran, right? Yeah, yeah, Like, exactly. how did Mass Recall miss that? This is why, like, these are niche cases, but it's why I'm like, Mass Recall is a great approximation of StarCraft 1, but I don't call it a recreation. Yeah, I would agree with that. Uh, and I think it the benefits of it being in the StarCraft 2 engine greatly outweigh the downsides of uh, pretty much anything else about it uh, <sighs> for like 99% of people. 
I'm super on tilt right now. I, I had such a good setup, everything worked properly, and now I just... Uh, and you couldn't right. consume... Yeah, like, I, I knew what I wanted to do, and then I learned this random arbitrary fact about consume, and then I got it to work anyway, and now I can't get it to work twice. No. Oh. Should... Uh, oh, can a mod run a pull that he did in fact complete the mission and you're allowed to power overwhelm or uh, terrible terrible damage through? I I think that's y you had it. I mean, it feels like cheating though. Like I did not get a victory screen. Pull. That's that's what the chat the members of the chat are here for. Oh. Ran through that base. That was great. All right, if we could have a mod do a poll, I feel like it just doesn't count, though. Like I don't know. It feels completely unfair. Sake of the content, it's also not great to be, you know, twelve minutes behind. Think of the content. I don't know how I sniped this tank before, because Kerrigan just dies instantly now. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna get it again. Man, I wish I could consume. Because there's just no detection near the Psyo Disruptor. Like... They they sent a science vessel on me. Oh. Well, I killed the science vessel with Kerrigan and the Hunter Killers, I think. Ah, uh, nice. Um... Alright, it is 74 to 7 currently in the poll, so I guess I'll do it. What is the terrible, terrible damage? Terrible, terrible damage. Oh, I feel so bad what is best in life? I'm not sure what is best in life or working mass recall. Uh, uh, I was a little bit concerned. That's true. Oh, uh, achievements have been disabled. Oh no. Ugh. That's so frustrating. Yeah. Nah. You died in a cutscene because mass recall moment. Um. That's. When can we skip no. this cutscene? Oh my gosh. Yeah, no, there's... Hmm. Ooh. There's just a ch tank just chilling outside my base. Or he went home. That's... I think that's more terrifying. Ugh, I just want to move on. I don't care about these mutalisks. <laughs> <laughs> Game... Quit and load works. Uh, Only if you've got the mission complete. Oh, I don't it. have the mission uh, unlocked. Yeah. Someone almost unlocked. just uh, trolled me. Yeah. Yep. I'm not gonna. Okay. So wait, did you have to watch this whole cutscene? So I was testing if I could exit via going out to the main screen. Um going to the menu and then reselecting the mission, but if you don't have that option, it's I'm not going so to do long. it. so long! I watched most of it. I watched, like, a good minute of it before Did you going. watch Ursa Donnie Vermillion cry over the corpse of a dead marine? Because that's what I just did. <laughs> oh, this is Donnie Vermillion. How many Vermillion. minerals do you have? 7,000? 3,000. Oh, only 3,000. Yeah, these attack. I'm not messing around with these attacks. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, you gotta actually defend on this mod. That makes sense. Yeah, there's no chance. Considering I lost uh, multiple Ultralisks to the start of the mission, oh, or uh, the Ultralisk at the start, I'm like, okay, we're uh, we're bunking up. <laughs> you're, you're bunking, not sunken? Oh, we're sunken up. You're right. My mistake. Okay. Oh. Also, these hotkeys aren't matching, and I'm gonna miss something for that oh yeah the hockey gremlin is here to stay oh yeah they tried to do smart things like moving sunken off of you to see and it's fine all right this is where the comeback begins guys i didn't lose multiple ultralisks there you go <laughs> but have you taken the high ground <laughs> don't try it <laughs> What does Phoenix do? 
Matrix Overload. Oh, I didn't even check. 20 health damage, but he regens his shields. Maybe I could defend with him. Yeah, it seems pretty good. They also oh don't gosh. attack on the mineral amounts. I can't get my drone to go properly. What does it do? Oh, the cliff is like way, uh... Oh. Cliffs and mass recall are a mess. They I, really I, are. I, I, out of all the things that they could have done, the cliffs make no sense to me. They're all like... I feel like they did cliffs and then they did terrain raises on top of it. Yeah. Um... And it's really strange. I'm glad I'm the, not the only person that just had a weird issue. Like, whenever I say something like that in an archives thing, people are like, Grant, why are you being so weird about it? But then when you get someone that knows the stuff really well, they're like, yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. And it really is <laughs> gratifying. I got Kerrigan and Phoenix talking on top of each other. Oh, Jim's talking too! <laughs> I got the- oh, you got the rare triple dialogue. I did. How lucky. This is a blessing. Why did these wraiths hit so hard? <laughs> what? Has there been wraith buffs? Could have assumed so. There's uh, two tanks and four wraiths, and that's a much scarier tech than what I'm used to. Oh no, Phoenix. Oh, he's in- Stop rallying! Through the red base! No, oh, thank you. Okay, can do this. Oh, yeah, they do attack with a lot of stuff, even pretty early, huh? Yeah, most of the attacks were at least, like, familiar to me. Um, but some of them are a real mess. That's good to know. I'm a real mess, so I think that I have the advantage here. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, like, I saw the three marine attacks that were normal. I saw the, uh, um, the siege tank marine and goliath one early. But other than that, some of these have been wild. Two Kerrigans. Excuse me? What, you got two Kerrigans? There's, they're talking about two Kerrigans. Um... Somewhere in your chat. Oh. Not real sure what's going on with that. Uh, I don't think my chat is necessarily made up of subsorians. They might not know what's going <laughs> on. We have, re we have reached our resource quota. Oh You're my done? goodness, and not a minute too soon. I am. Oh my. Phoenix might die in the cutscene. Let's see. There's no ending cutscene. Good. Oh, you're you're lucky. You're never going to see Ursadani Vermilion and his mourning. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, there are eight wraiths attacking at 10,000 minerals, exactly. Nice. Phoenix would not win that, and I don't have- I didn't get any gas. See, this is where I'm going to get my advantage, is I'm going to get gas. Ooh. The 8k mineral attack was a lot weaker than in base Starcraft, though. Good to know! It was. <laughs> it was. They did not go crazy. Yeah, I have my I have my epic strategy here where I'm gonna go uh, mutt mutts to defend because they cost Ooh. like no minerals, and then I won't Smart. panic as much as you. Well, I probably will. Really wish I had mutt mutts to defend. I'm pretty sure I can't make that once. Oh right, mass recall starts you with three larvae on every hatch. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's something. I love how the mass recall worker AI is like somehow awful, just it's... like base StarCraft one, but it's different awful. Yeah, exactly. It uh, it has issues. It has different issues with uh units not um. With unpathable minerals. Yeah, it's uh, it's an experience. A very interesting. It one. is. I I'm having an experience with it, and so were my drones. Why do those bunkers hit so far away? <laughs> they got the U-238 shell upgrade, dude. They sure do. Uranium shells go far. I don't know how uranium 
makes them go so much farther, but they do. Uh, have you ever heard of science before? I thought you were a scientist. Ooh. Science owes you a great debt, Commander. I don't let Kerrigan know that. Yeah, that's probably for the best. Occupational hazard existing. Okay, well... That's oh, that's a scary attack of stuff. Why are you hitting so soon, Marines? There's a lot of siege tanks. Anybody ever said that the Zergling is a good unit? Oh, that's a good idea. You may have figured out the meta here. So the, oh, I didn't get my lair. I hit the wrong hotkey for it. No. Oh, humanity. Who put a fire bat in that bunker? Oh, that just destroyed the. Oh, no. Oh, buddy. Ladies and gentlemen, he's losing to a fire bat. We have a chance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. All my rebounds. I really hope they uh, stop attacking me for a bit. That would be really nice. I agree. Maybe my real advantage is if I get infested Terrans for the next mission. That was smart. That's oh. smart. Oh, they have stim. They're so powerful. I did the easiest thing to mess up. Uh, no, not a second one. Okay, we're fine. Oh. Uh, hey, Grant. Oh, no. Yeah? You remember when you did your uh, StarCraft Mass Recall playthrough? No. And there is no base at the top of, uh... <laughs> at the top of the, uh... The expansion at the 4th, or on Mission 4? Oh. Yeah. I don't have a base there. So, uh... That's fine. You don't need a base. Yeah, I don't remember what the solution to that was. Reinstall. Oh, reinstall! Yeah, well, that's you know, what you did. The game bugged out for me on mission two, bugging out for you on mission four, so this yep, is... I might just be down in expansion. You know? This is a life we must live. Skill issue. Yeah, have you tried oh. expanding? <laughs> oh. Dang, that's crazy. Okay, sure well... That nearby Terran Outpost has minerals. We're, we're gonna try to find some nearby Terrans. Harvest for minerals. Oh my goodness, firebats do a lot of damage to shields, huh? Sure do. Not that I'm losing to a firebat, that would be very embarrassing. I know, who would do that? He's a high ground siege tank, no, be gentle. Yeah, I have a feeling that the big macro missions are ones that we're going to have to take a little bit more cleanly than normal. Like, just be, be a bit safe. Because there's going to be scary stuff. Oh, it's going to be so hard. Alright, I hope that I can not be dead. Oh, 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 oh no, there's a scary <laughs> Why are they sending ultras at the six minute mark? Oh, this is great. This really is the benefit of being behind, is I get yeah. to learn about all these terrible, terrible damages that are coming towards you. It's it's the comeback mechanics. Yeah, there's always gotta be rubber banding. I just happen to be the rubber band, always. Oh no, it's the lurkers. Oh no. Uh, for those of you who don't know, in Mass Recall, Lurkers can only be hit on their inner radius, not their outer radius. So they're actually really tiny as far as area to uh, hit. It's really hard to uh, surround them with Zerglings. Only about three Zerglings can attack at once. Yeah, it is awful. And those Zerglings almost always are guaranteed to die from the first Lurk- or not first Lurker shot, but you know, they all get hit by it. Uh, someone's asking about inner radius. So in StarCraft, there's two different radii. There's like a point in the center, and then there is your big outwards hitbox. And uh, 
there's issues. Like, we had issues with the first real scale where units were only attacking to the inward radius instead of the outward radius of the really big units. So it meant that you had to be, like, directly under a battlecruiser to shoot. That sort of stuff is uh, annoying. And Rhyme didn't know how to fix it, and then Orca figured it out, which was cool. There's no way I need more mutas. Let's just try to get done with this mission. 10,000 units of crystal sure is a lot. It, it's a lot more than you may expect. 10,000 is a big number. How long did this mission take you? I think my IGT was like 15. Uh oh. 15 or 16. Which, it is faster than real time. Um... Let's pretend like that I am there. I may, I think I may have just overdone my production, honestly. Like, to a ludicrous degree. I was trying to be very safe, and, uh... Because I was behind, and I didn't want to get eliminated more. Yeah, I'm But then I kind of just built 20 mutas, and 20 seems like way too many. That's a lot of mutas. Yeah, because I think that I'm starting to... Uh, lose some mineral fields... I mean, you guys could go long distance mine over here. That seems fine. Yeah. On the plus side, you'll never have to worry about that two siege tank, four wraith attack. Uh, how about the 17 Goliath and a bunch of wraith attack? Hey, that was one that hit at 10k for me. Okay, well, it's a 7k attack for me. Which says that I'm doing really well. <laughs> Not at all behind. I, I am sunk pushing the opponent's creep. Oh goodness. This mission is the worst. It was not great. Oh. Uh, Zerblings just disappear in this. I've never seen... Like, Zerglings are even more glassy and cannony, and I cannot believe that. that they yeah, you gotta be really careful with them. I blink and 20 are gone. Didn't know you were a Proto Protoss player. <laughs> I'm a generous donor from GDQ. <laughs> Yeah, I definitely... I was way too scared. Uh, I've never played on anything besides hard and mass recall. And I think that I made a proper defense for hard, but I need to reacclimate towards normal. The sunks were worth their weight in absolute gold. Minerals? No, no, no. They were so good they ascended to a different game. Oh my goodness. Oh. Come on. Stop talking. We did it. <laughs> I don't want to open the tooltips. Thank you, game. <laughs> Apparently, the uh, help screen is my split button for this. Oh, nice. Perfect. It's okay. I need the help. Watch the cutscene in Mission 4 if you want the upper base to spawn. Thank you, chat! <laughs> oh, no! Yes! Oh. The I tech. mean, you're already yeah, so far tech. ahead that I don't think it's gonna matter, but... I am in... I'm 14 StarCraft minutes into this mission. Oh, not this cutscene. How long If my math is right, Grant, your Kelmorian Combine time is shockingly close to two times the one for, that you did for your Brood War speedrun. Yeah, that sounds about right. It feels like you get minerals slower in this game. I don't know if I'm crazy, but... Infantry, where he's so good... Is this worth the time to watch? Like, how much time do you save by base? You gotta save a decent amount of time. Oh, it's gotta be. Have big. a second geyser, Grant. Oh yeah, double gas. That's probably worth it. But these cutscenes are exceedingly long, and they have copyrighted music in it. 
Which makes life a lot more difficult if I want to put this up somewhere. Oh my goodness. Oh, I don't like watching this. This is the worst. <laughs> hmm. Okay, are these marines just going to shoot some civilians? I really hope this is the last thing that's going on. It's so atmospheric using your Fallout music, Mass Recall. You did it. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Please finish your cutscene. I don't care. Where's Myra Davis when we need her? Come on. Oh my gosh, there's more. What are you doing, my dude? Are your dudes having an issue, or are you just having an issue with me? Oh, uh, no, <laughs> no. The, uh... The, uh... Ultralisk just walked through the bottom base with 47 sunks. If chat trolled me and the base doesn't spawn, that's gonna be so funny. Oh my goodness! <laughs> well, let's go check. Because I sure wish that I had money. Money's good. Giant Grant Games comeback tour. I'm going to be like Tay-Tay. Oh spider God, mines this... here? Spider mines on this mission distinctly remember that I told you there, there are no spider mines in the base game on uh, Liberation of Core Hall, and then immediately found spider mines in the editor <laughs> so uh i did great i have a base up here i also lost my every i didn't manage to clear the base out that's embarrassing it took me two attempts i'm gonna die to this ultralisk oh my goodness i just forgot to morph my initial sunks oh no I got so distracted. Like, I have a hard time when you have to, like, sit around watching a cutscene forever. It's like, get back into the mental energy of playing the game. Oh, totally. Totally. Does it have chitinous already? That's crazy. Okay. Yeah, look at... Whoa. Oh. All right, pulling the boys to kill an ultra. Normal. Seems like a normal day here. I'm at 90 supply. Oh no, Mutalisks! They're overpowered in Mass Recall. Stop! Oh no. Oh, that's bad. Uh. Oh no. I mean, I, I'll take it. If Mutas are overpowered, Mutas are overpowered. Yeah. Crazy. Is that all my upgrades? Yeah. Uh, I don't have that. Oh. I did clear the base. I didn't hey! know. Way to go. I'm so okay. happy. One of the things that's really weird about Mass Recall that we're going to have to deal with, particularly as time goes on, is just the fact that the game uh, rebuilds everything. Unlike StarCraft oh, 1 base yeah. game. It, yeah. Uh, the StarCraft 1 base game is not really that great at rebuilding, and Mass Recall loves just retaking everything. So if we don't win in big pushes because we're trying to figure things out, then mm -hmm. it's all going to get remade, which is exciting. Yeah. That's where I'm at right now. Uh, Chat, I have losing, an idea. <laughs> losing my expansion. Mine's fine. Am I gloating too much for being like 14 minutes behind? This, uh, Liberation of Coral has not been a good one for me. I, uh, I'm actually mined out at my main and I almost... Where? How far are you? What, uh... Like, I guess you're I, at the Zerg base, right? I've got because the news? main. I've got only the mains left. Got it. Um, but it's been a, a rough going of it. Well, that's good to know. And I'm having to take a little bit of time to refuel my economy because I uh, ran out my main. So. Yeah, this is one of those missions where as soon as the main runs out, it's just like, oh, no money, huh? Yeah, the the momentum completely just dies. Okay, we're getting these. Get upgrades. Oh, Valkyries! They send so many Valks. My overlords have never been more terrified in their life. Well, that's good to know. 
Oh god, Valk Wraith Raid with Goliath. Oh no. Oh buddy. Is Ice gonna die? Please die. I just lost five overlords instantly. Nice. Come on. Oh my god, they do so much damage. What are you- It's ridiculous. Wraiths, come here. So as a professional speedrunner, uh, what, what supply do you normally get to on this mission? 150. Everything happens at 150-ish. Okay. Don't- uh, There's no reason that I want to know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure those values will be helpful and not deceptive when preparing for this. Yeah, absolutely. Oh goodness, that is a lurker. Yeah, any quantity of lurker. Uh, I really like the Valkyrie, infinite Valkyrie combo into lurker attack of the natural. That's really cool. Yep. Oh, that's a fun one. Do you have a natural though? Yeah, I do. I mean... That's good. It's currently being impaled by a lurker while my slover lords are trying to get over there. And there's a... How many Valkyries? Jeez. You were not kidding, oh, it's sir. No. No, overlords are uh, an endangered species here on Core Hall. Let's go. Oh, my goodness. I thought I was being cute by making mutas on this mission, and it is... Uh, Already turning out to be a terrible idea. Just by the huge number of lurkers. Or not lurkers, uh, Valkyrie. This is the fifth one in eight minutes. The sixth one. There's a few spider mines on the map. Just gonna put it out there. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my goodness! Who this is normal difficulty! Who who made this? Unless I find out I'm not on normal difficulty, but it says Duran difficulty every time I boot it up, so I assume I'm doing it right. Do you think that Duran is normal? Ugh. I mean, I guess Kerrigan thinks that Duran is normal. Alright, my goal is to get a third gas geyser because that is the greatest thing ever known. Gas is so good. I just max out. Is that what I have to do? That's what I'm considering before attacking. Yeah. Uh, that's Valkyrie Lurkers. number, what, nine? Why do you hit so hard in this game? There's no reason. You need to stop. Is it because the, like, math is wrong? Because No, because... They're, oh, they're just shredding everything. I don't think there's any of that weird mathiness going on. Good. Math is tough. Uh, you know, that's not a favorite among most. Okay. So, my overlords are having a bad day against the uh, Scourge Ultra or Scourge Valkyrie Lurker combination. Yeah, that scene. That's a. Wait. That's a tough one. <laughs> uh, honestly, I'm kind of impressed if your overlords are having a tough time against the Lurkers. They're having a tough time doing their job. <laughs> oh. Okay. I have now been well saying I finally hit the need to spawn more overlords might not be saying much when uh when uh they just keep dying. Man, I I think I'm getting baited here because you said you were like, oh yeah, mutas are overpowered, and I was like, all right, I'm going mutas, and then seventy freak. <laughs> oh, the Valkyries everywhere. Mutas have the the bug damage calc. Uh, unless they fixed it in Mass Recall 8. But I don't think they did. Right. Also, Nidus, weren't, uh, Nidus Canals aren't automatic in this game, so I'm not using them. You they are nice in some them. ways, though, for that. They are. They are. Alright, well... Oh god. Okay. Where's... That was fun. Our forces are under attack. 34 kill lurker. Oh. Our forces are under attack. Just typical well, life. 150 out of 108 supply. Oh, 
they killed the drone too. Okay. Utilize saves. Let's just see how this army does into their main. Oh no, mutas are overpowered. Wow, that's a lot of mutas. A lot overpowered. What are they camping that base with? There must be another lurker or something. Oh my goodness. Can't wait for True Colors to go just like I know how it goes. It'll yeah, be that one's gonna be special. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be so sad. I love everything that happens on True Colors in a base playthrough. I don't think that Sunks have any value here besides, like, Spores are so much better if you're gonna spend your money. It's just being able to deal with Mutas and Valks is so important. I have the two Sunk, uh, six Spore defense going on and it's actually working great. That's pretty good. Honestly, I think that's necessary. I wish Overlords were faster. Detection, surely. I'm considering Antenna, just so I can keep them farther away. Yeah, Antenna's good. At, like, that sounds like an in insane person sentence saying, oh, I can't wait to get my Antenna upgrade, but... No, uh, any time that you're doing weird stuff like this, the super niche upgrades end up being, like, super legit. Yeah, it's... Uh, am I out of gas in my main? I am. Okay. Oh my gosh, lurkers! Lurk! Lunkies, you hurt so bad. Who invented this unit? <laughs> Which one? There's so many overpowered units in StarCraft 1. Oh my goodness. Pretty sure I speed ran this faster in uh, real scale. Yeah, that makes sense. Real scale is powerful. Would recommend real scale mass recall if, uh, if you haven't played it, chat people. Yeah, okay. it's really fun. It's uh, hard to see sometimes, but it is fun. It is, uh, on both accounts. That's a, that's a mass recall feature. Yeah, it's the lighting is a bit dramatic, and then when everything is titanic, it can be a bit much. Defense matrix on the Valkyrie, very good. That's what we were looking for. One siege tank, one medic timing attack. Nice. Very normal, very fine. The Wraiths are dying because they're running out of energy, not because I'm killing them before that. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. Like, sometimes you just accept that fate sucks and the world is <laughs> pain. I actually think that the mutas are gonna bring me back into this. Eventually. Mission 4 complete. Well done. What was your time? 34.19. Wow. <laughs> that is uh, It was brutal. a slow one. Yeah, it was not great. All right, I'm learning from your mistakes. I'm getting antenna. I, I got a real... Got a real... Uh, bit of a roadblock. Without having a second gas geyser. It was slow to start. Yeah, I can definitely see that. I mean, this is a rough one anyway. But that definitely compounds things. I got all three, three, three ground upgrades, and I eventually went for ultras. Ultras actually were the key. Once I got about twelve of them, it just, they just ran over the base. These, you are right that these attack waves are insane for this difficulty. Yeah, StarCraft One did not do attacks that hard. These are insane, absolutely bonkers. And now I don't know how the aggro AI is going to work for true colors. I'm so scared. <laughs> oh, man. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Ektar is challenging you to find a way to make optical flare good outside of the mission it's intended to be good. 
I mean, right. when he's who is who? You or me? Uh, you. If Giant Grunt Games finds a way to make optical flare good, I will laugh. Oh, that's not a very good reward. I don't want that. Uh, well, like, yeah. Like, I've said it before and I'll say it again. I got a million dollar tier on Patreon. If, you, if you're really, really that interested in optical flare, may I introduce you? That's a worthwhile I, reward. When I become in, an independently wealthy lawyer, I will be sure to look that up. Independent Ektar who don't need no... Electrical engineering. I, oh, I, I, I don't need that, but I definitely do need my wife because she's the only one that keeps me physically alive. <laughs> oh, thank goodness, Mutus. Yeah, this will work, right? Oh, they don't fight back at all. Wait, what? It's crazy. Wait, like you can just kill them? I'm, I'm not exactly sure how it's going. Uh, it's different based on what you have. Oh. Uh. This is a very tough video game, my dude. I, I cannot wait to see your view on this. And it how, hasn't how been you pretty. About it. There's just stuff everywhere. The Valkyries were surprisingly not incredible versus that clumped Mita Force, though. Well, it's because I'm on 3 3 and they're on 1 1. Yeah, one, the bug only really matters after you get armor upgrades because it is the damage pre armor issue. Yeah. It's why Corsairs are just, like, useless in this mod. Because, well, uh, it, it always matters for Corsairs, but yeah. Get some ultras for my mutas, I guess. They just keep building goliaths. They sure do. Protoss, what are you doing? That dragoon did not shoot me until he was out of shield. Is that what it is? Oh, they have to take HP damage. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, maybe I have 250 on the timer. I really appreciate how in base StarCraft 1 they uh, empty their bunkers. I wish they would do that here. Yeah, that would be nice. Oh, I should be using Kerrigan. Why am I not using Kerrigan? Oh, you have a Kerrigan on that mission. That'll change things. You have a thing. Kerrigan. Yeah, the problem is she's slow. She's really slow. Yeah, that's true, but you can just kind of put her somewhere and she'll probably die. <laughs> yeah. We made a liability by making must-survive objectives. I don't know why they do that. Ugh. One yeah. of the things that they could totally have fixed in Mass Recall but chose not to. They didn't even not fix it. They added it to when you have the hero. Yeah, that is true. They, they could have just not added it in the first place. Well... Mutas. I think that this is the thing that's going to bring me a little bit of a better time than you, but not much. Mm. That's interesting. I recommend them. 10 out of 10. Yeah? Would Muta again? Will Muta again. Ooh, good call. Also, don't have to Nidus your Mutas now, do you? And they're a pain, as you, you said. Sure don't. Not recommend attempting the Midas the Mutas. Also insanely good against Scourge, apparently. What aren't they good against, apparently? I just didn't expect them to just snipe them out of the sky that well. Oh, there's no gas in this base. Useless. Reactive Mutas are crazy good. All right, how bad is retaliation going to be, Mr. Marine? Sure hope that that defiler doesn't know plague. Oh.
The good old three ultra half timing attack? What did they even do there? They just got mm. mad and attacked no. one structure. Mm, this is fine, this is fine, this is fine, this is fine. So I hear that you're fine, but like, uh, what what are you fine about? Like The, the tone, the, the counterattack is perfectly fine and doesn't send any different units than normal. Oh, good to know. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wouldn't be uh, worried about any of it. Yeah, I will not take it seriously then. That's... Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's always a lurker <laughs> in my mineral line. <laughs> the answers feel glacial. How did it even get there? Okay, well, I don't have a mineral line, so I guess I don't have a lurker in it. Well, the antenna upgrade didn't save me today. <laughs> Boy, Predos units sure are good. Yeah, that's the thing is, Mass Recall actually knows how to fight with Protoss, and that's going to make life significantly tougher. Yeah, they sure do. That is a uh, real problem to my plans. Have you considered the Hydralisk? I have considered the Hydralisk, but good. Have you considered how you're going to deal with Drawing of the Web? No, that's a problem for two missions from now, Ace. Ektar, we can't be thinking too far ahead like visionaries or anything like that. We're panicking here. Ektar, we can't be thinking at all, my dude. This is pure, just mechanical... What is that word? Instinct. YOLO. And yet, somehow you've ended up with exactly my army composition on ladder. Utilisk? Oh, yeah. that's, that's the Ektar special. I mean, it's a good composition. I was doing mono battles before it was cool. <laughs> Ektar is a fan of the Mutalisk. If you can build a Mutalisk, he's a fan of the mission. I think that's a very fair lifestyle. There are so many Valkyries in this base. Still cleaning out the uh, remainder of the Protoss main, or Terran main? Yeah. But I haven't hit 30 minutes yet, so feeling good about that. That's good. Well, I just hit 30 minutes, so that's pretty bad. <laughs> I'm scared just having a 400 health Kerrigan just living anywhere. In yeah. my base. Can she burrow? Uh, no. I tried that for, uh, Rain of Fire. That's pretty annoying. Oh my gosh, she takes so much damage from Fire Bat. Stop. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> fire Bats are insane no. against light run, units. Run, <laughs> We almost died. 48 health. Oh my goodness. That's free call. You are a treat to behold. Where do these lurkers keep coming from? The Zerg is dead. <laughs> How did they make it? What's your story? Grant, why did they add a gas geyser to the single turret island? <laughs> that's honestly the most StarCraft 1 thing I've ever heard. I'm pretty sure that's there in the base game. Oh, no. Ladies and gentlemen, we saved two minutes off of Ace's time. Oh, man. But can we skip this cutscene? It Answer. is there in the base game. Oh, my goodness. Don't be snide, Kerrigan. Oh, my gosh, we can't skip this, can we? Nope. You must make the most... You must tell him to make the most of his reign. Is, in the cutscene, a battlecruiser falls from the sky and hits the ground, but it just like lands in the middle of a street, and the not real scaleness makes it feel so silly. Just a yeah. battlecruiser landed on the street. Oh no, it's blocked traffic. 
<laughs> That's an LA moment. Why is it always the same song in the cutscenes? Uh, because Mass Recall had a vision. Just like Zagara. I think you've inspired Ace. Oh, is he mutoing? He's very hard. Oh no, I'm gonna have to mute it too. Well, that's what the gas geyser's for. There it is. I, I was like, wow, it's another gas geyser. I can get muta more mutas from this. Ektar, is he actually getting gas geysers from the muta? Or other way around? I'm not getting it from the island, no. I can't believe it. I'm going mutas too, then. But can you get the dialogue skip for getting into the Phoenix box? Yes. Almost certainly not. Can't even dialogue skip anything. What is it now? Our forces are under attack. Yeah, I'm not going to be fancy with my sneak attack. I do feel like Razor Swarm will probably be helpful somewhere. What is it now? Or in Snare. Oh! Ooh! Ooh! Mmm, wow, that was tasty. Mmm, thank you. Really appreciate it. Ektar, was it actually tasty? <laughs> if you're the Burrus player, it's extremely delectable. Good to know. Okay, I won't go Mutus. <laughs> I'm glad Grant's entire comp is just based on my guttural reactions to yeah, things just going poorly. The sounds you make are how I play this game. <laughs> I think it's a good strat. I just found some random civilians there. I'm like, ooh, biomass. Wait, wrong mod. <laughs> what is it now? So chat, remember that we have learned that there is no scary counterattack whatsoever, so we're just not going to prepare for it. We don't need to. Good call. I agree. Uh, yes, the cutscene does pause everything. I can still kind of move around, but I don't have a... All my units are just locked in place. Can you alt F4? Not gonna try that one, <laughs> but I appreciate you asking. Well, we gotta learn for science. Uh, of course. I feel like we kill a lot more during the sneak attack here. I think so too. Like, I've managed to take the, uh, little tiny protoss base and the top left and i'm gonna get uh mid left and yeah with i got all of there. that too that was crazy or or what if i lose all my lurkers to two zealots that's also possible might be a good one might be a little bit of a I strategy i love stone there. face jim right here just i'm gonna you're gonna die do you not realize who you've become? And he's just stone faced T like A posing in the uh, cutscene. I wish just, he was T posing. I wish. Just... Oh man. Meanwhile, Kerrigan's taunting him with 87 health in the corner of my base. <laughs> oh, I don't have man, a worker button. That's exciting. Is four hatches before this too risky? Or I guess it's five hatches. I don't want to die to the counterattack. I really appreciate these sounds. I think they add a lot. It's, uh... Honestly, oh, just there really is, there interesting is. hearing what's going on here. I got nuked. Uh, could one of the mods deal with this bot raid? Or turn uh, yeah. slow mode or whatever? Shield got mode. it. Thank you. All units prepare for retaliation. Kerrigan 
Uh, where's Adrenal? Keep moving, keep moving. Their defenses won't last long that hurt. Against us. I mean, Kerrigan, I think you are Oops. overestimating our offensive prowess. Probably you are die. one size storm away from massive disaster. Yeah. I mean, that's just Zerg in a nutshell. That's exactly. Oh, that's a lot of wraiths. Well, you should be getting some lunch anytime now. Yeah, but I morphed all my hydras into lurkers to defend the counterattack. Well, you know. Oh no. Kerrigan, you gotta save me. Sarah, darling. <laughs> Okay, don't razor swarm my own guys. You know what? Kerrigan, Wraith Slayer Extraordinaire. Ooh, smart tech, good. I think that's very reasonable. Wow, that is a lot of zealots. Why are Firebats so good in this mod? What is going on? Who decided this? They're incredible. I mean, the Firebat lobby is very strong. Hank Hill, number one donor here. I miss Eldritch Hank Hill. He was cool. <laughs> if you want uh, Eldritch Hank Hill, it's at the end of my uh, Brood Wars Zerg Deathless video. It's the first draft we did for uh, the propaganda announcer at uh, that speaks during the end of the Dominion or the uh, UED campaign. It was really good. It was so funny. Yeah, it's a lot of gas. We dealt with the counterattack. Uh, we killed the raids. I'm taking that gas geyser, you know? Oh my god, that spider mine killed 30 zerglings. I think that you are honestly hampering yourself quite a bit by making zerglings. I'm not sure uh, that they're I have, great. I have 3,000 minerals in the bank. There's oh, fair no enough. need for anything else. Yeah, that's a fine, fine decision. They are then. building killers. Yes, How many workers do we have? 60, that seems fine. Why do we have a lurker just burrowed up here? It's so hard to see. This well, mission well, is well. so dark. I don't have any lighting issues right now. On, uh, really? Mine. It starts at night, so it is dark, but after that, I'm not sure. Well, I am done with. I've been done with the timing attack for a long time, and. Uh, Dang. It's still very dark out. Gamma issue. <laughs> Why are there so many extra Goliaths hurting me? Please stop. Also, the Terran has, like, not tried at all to retake their place, which is weird. They usually really want it. Oh, gosh, I'm losing everything to the Protoss, though. The Protoss are angry. Protoss are scarier than the uh, Terran are in this mission, it feels like. That is an interesting change of pace. It really is. You think that science vessel has a radiate? I can neither confirm nor deny the existence of a radiation. And the health of my mutas. <laughs> Whoa! Where did that reaver come from? <laughs> so Grant, at this point in the speed run, we're an hour and 13 minutes in. I would be uh, seven minutes into Omega currently. Yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, I would too, <laughs> totally. So I'd be just finishing the defense at the top against the UED and then preparing to attack from on the last mission. Does anybody in chat have any idea where that Reaver came from? <laughs> because that was like a magical dude. Like how did he came from the top right of the map, but how did he get there? What is his story? 
Can we make a feature film out of it? I wonder if mutas are just going to be my answer to everything. Cause the only I'm worried they out. are. They're so good. I don't think they'll be the answer to Omega. No. There's going to be too much AoE. And probably the Overmind as well. That's the mission I'm personally the most excited for. To see how you try to tackle the game playing better. Yeah, that mission's going to be really hard. That's going to be like a 30 minute one. I'm glad you're optimistic on how long it'll take. I mean, there, there's gotta be something. Oh, there it is. I didn't kill the corner pylon. Oh, did you just win? Uh, yes, minus the corner pylon that I forgot. That's gonna be 30 seconds of time loss. Nice. Uh, I have a feeling you could take this one faster than me then. What was your final time? Uh, pending. Let's see. Officially, the final time is 25.08 on Building Destroy. Okay, so that means I have to kill everybody in 10 minutes, huh? Not sure that I have the skill to do that. How close are all the conditions in this game mode to the original? It's All the units are the same, Ish. but like how the units interact are very different. And I would treat it as... If you want to play StarCraft 1 without StarCraft 1, this is the best thing to do. And if you want StarCraft 1 for the original authentic StarCraft 1 experience, you have to play the game. I do think that the less you have played StarCraft 1, the better Mastery Call is, because Correct. you're not used to things being different. Because it kind of plays like a dream, where everything is just slightly off, and you know it's off, <laughs> but you can't understand why. There's one night where I actually had like the path for Omega in my head as I fell asleep and oh god that was that was tough. I did not enjoy that uh, that evening or that night. How do you beat a Wraith? Gosh, where's Kerrigan? I need her. Can I do any shenanigans? No, they disable larva on your expansion and they attack at the five second mark. Oh, that means that they take way longer than the base game. Not up top. Oh yeah, that's true. Top base, you don't get a larva before the uh, attack already hits. Oof. What about the three o'clock? Three o'clock's about the same. Um, I could, I have two larva out, but I, guess I could try and. But I don't know if you can do the uh, trick to get them back. Ooh, did you know that storms are psionic? I sure did. Found that out. That was, uh, 28 almost killed Mutus. Oh, well, I looked away and things are looking bad. So, uh, did, did the science vessels actually have irradiate? This is such an interesting question that chat really wants to know. Hey. <laughs> That's a very interesting question indeed. I would implore chat to load up Mass Recall and test it on their own. There's an easy way to install it. Another question. Oh, okay, there's the nuke. Oh, I think he killed himself. You got nuked at the same base, too. <laughs> I mean... Really, the ghost got nuked more than I did. I don't like the look of that one bit, Jimmy. You can't use broodlings on Phoenix in this mod, right? I'm pretty sure you can't, but I did not test. I'm like 99% sure that they made him immune for some reason. Yeah. You weren't able to do it in your previous playthrough. I don't know if it's gotten patched since. There's no way. I don't think that Mass Recall is really getting active support. 
Yeah, what do I want to do this mission? Headstrong and predictable. You are your own worst enemies. That's ironic. I can remember Tessidar teaching you a very similar lesson, I'm sure. I took that lesson to heart, pray it. Such an incredible way to put uh alternating caps and upper and lower case and uh voice form. I am prepared to face my destiny. You'll not find me easy prey. Then that shall be your epitaph. Alright. Let's see how Phoenix does against uh really mute us not very well. So I have an issue where every time that the uh, cutscene ends, I F2 to get all my stuff, but then it selects Kerrigan, and then I send her to a bad place. Oh no. I'm sure that won't uh, cause problems later. No, because I'm going to remember to save. How many more noble souls do you need to consume before you're satisfied? How many more people need to die before you realize what you've become? I do like Jim. He's doing his best here. Don't even know what you're talking about. And then Kerrigan, we can barely see in the darkness. I'll see you dead for this, Kerrigan. Oh, there's a little cactus. And all the others who got caught between you and your mad quest for power. Oh, goodness. I wonder if it's a cinematic cactus. Tough talk, Jimmy. But I don't think you have what it takes I to... I have the ability to... No. It may not be tomorrow, darling. It may not even happen with an army at my back. But rest assured, I'm the man who... Forgot how aggressive today. they are in... Fury of the Swarm. Yeah, uh, the mission's brutal. Fun fact, in Fury of the Swarm, we actually had to nerf the AI multiple times in real scale because they would send, like, Guardian Devour Waves by the 8-minute mark. Oh, that's ridiculous. And it, they were not small. It was the most nerfed mission we had to do because it was ridiculous. I am not surprised. Off these Protoss oh buildings God. don't leave a pylon. I thought the scientists were hard to see in the base game. You're already fighting the scientists? No, it, it, Duran gave me the vision to. Uh, oh, okay. I was like, wow, look. I'm far behind if that's the case. No, 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 no. Oh, well, I mean, I'm still far behind, but yeah. Those sure are siege tanks. Oh, no, 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 no. I feel like from the narrative that I've been hearing, you've been having a much harder time with fire bats than I have, which is interesting. I'm not sure what the difference is. Not sure either. I'm really the errant missile turret problem type of guy. <laughs> Ace has been more aggressive with his Kerrigans, and Kerrigan takes a ton of damage from it, and so Kerrigan goes from 400 health to, like, sub-100 health real quick, and then he's afraid. Yeah, well, I start Spurred. afraid. I guess that's really the difference. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to go with the slow is smooth and smooth is fast, but unfortunately we're speed running, so slow is slow. That's exactly what I had to tell myself repetitively during uh, attempts. Um, is that slow is consistent and consistent is fast. Because it is so easy to get very jumpy. Wow, the Muta Bounce killed a battlecruiser before Duke died. He's a thick Good boy. Grief. Oh, well. We oh, guy, oh nah, Banks said a bad word, guys. Please plug your ears. Come on, Arcturus. Mm -hmm. Did you really think I'd allow you to come into power again? You practically fed me to the Zerg on Tarsonis. You're directly responsible for the hell I've been through. Guess we have to cut the VOD. We do. Mengsk isn't the only one that almost said a bad word. Delete the stream. The greatest save of the StarCraft word war GDQ run was Ektar after the run ended. <laughs> so, it was unbelievably funny. Wow, Kerrigan has huge lips. Look at that, it's like a third of her face. <laughs> Grant, that is the most incredible sentence I've heard in a long time. It's like she's duck facing the entire time, like she's an Instagrammer. Of your precious dominion. I want you to live to see me rise to power, and I want you to always remember in your most private moments 
that it was you who turned me loose in the first place. Oh, right. That's the problem. Oh! We're playing again. Nuclear launch, I don't care. We as know long as it's not on mute is in the air. Honestly, a nuke will free up supply, so I'm just gonna let it hit. <laughs> oh, well, it hit an overlord somewhere, that's not good. <laughs> that won't free up supply. Monkey's paw curls. Yup. I'm sitting with a bunch of money in the bank and I just need to clean things up faster because there's like nothing left. Alright, Zergles. It's your time to shine. It's just a couple buildings. Unfortunately, I think that our times were fairly similar on this mission, so I've made no progress in life. I think there is a diverse set of mutil uh, strategies that you can do on the next mission that could... Well, see, the uh, issue is that if it is Muta, 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 then there isn't that much room for, uh, <laughs> for coming back and making stuff happen, you know? Yeah. I didn't really think about that. I can't skip it. Approximately nine seconds gained on him. Oh, oh my ace. goodness. <laughs> what is your Quaking. macro, bro? Quaking in my boots. I'm actually like... Do you really game while wearing boots? That's weird. Uh, yeah, I do Did that not. sign... Was that before it broke, guys, in the chat? Did that say iCarly? Because I'm pretty sure that it did. That was an <laughs> iCarly sign. said I something and it was a lowercase i. Either that or it's an Apple product, one of the two. They're basically the same thing. Carly is my favorite Apple product, yes. Okay, I am ready to destroy the Renegade Zerg. Okay, you, you. See if we can hide anything. Oh, is it doing that thing where I get multiple different music tracks? That's exciting. Oh, that's a new one. It's not. <laughs> it's uh, unfortunately, that's an exciting one. Unfortunately common in Mass Recall. Well, I think that... Yeah, because like one of them is on a sound channel instead of the music channel or something. But that means that I can just turn the music off and I'll have music still. Incredible. Can't wait for the uh, epic Zerg mix for the last mission. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. It gets old pretty quickly. <laughs> or does it, uh, I can't remember if it just keeps going or if it stops eventually. No, it, it rotates with the other Zerg tracks. I ah, got it. I mean, this is the most logical mission to go mute as out of all the missions. Not that... It is. You just don't have that many options for units in StarCraft 1 Zerg. That's part of the problem. Oh, I think the music's gone there. I don't know how I'm ever going to make this comeback happen. Like, I really want it to... Wow, the gap between the main and the island is <laughs> nothing! It looks like there's yeah. just a staircase you should be able to go up. Yeah, it's crazy. I was really shocked at how tiny the uh, the gap was. Honestly, it makes it nice because there are, like, guardians and stuff that sometimes attack from that angle. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, did that I get happen. antenna? Oh, I meant to get pneumatized! <laughs> <laughs> they can see so far, though, Grant. <laughs> they can! They can see all the way across the island. Well, I'm 
resigns to a very sad fate. What am I fate. doing? Yes. Is there a muta there? I think I could have done this mission so much better. That sounds like you're almost done. No, that's good. why. Okay, that's good. That's why I think I could have done it so much better. We're going to make this happen, chat. I don't think chat cares about my success. I I think it would look very cool if you were able to make a comeback. I think it's entirely possible you come back on to slay the beast. That is true. Oh, yeah. To slay the beast is such a big mission. The scope and scale. This base looks way more like a science-y facility than in base StarCraft. Really nicely done on that. They do a really good job with the theming a lot of the time. Particularly with their installation stuff, which is really nice. Even though Ace is the one who had to make the installation of Mass Recall better. Did I get new... <sighs> Alright, I'm going yeah. Adrenal Pneumatize, then Ventral Sacks. On the island mission. On the island mission, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, no Ace got that. an expansion just a little bit faster. Oh my gosh, they are attacking from every angle. How did he hold it? My queen, we have located a small Terran facility towards... The Wait, you think these scientists are harder to see? They seem way easier to see for me. Uh, they... It's a determination. The... The lighting, the scientist itself is easier. I think the lighting makes it a little more difficult. Yeah, fair enough. That the UED's control of the Overmind was tenuous. Tarsonis is too remote for them to maintain direct control over the swarms. So they've sent these scientists to coordinate their attack. I love how Kerrigan says scientist. She sounds so, like, it's, skeptical. It's the greatest. All of the UED scientists must be killed. Only then will we be able to finish off these She like thinks that they went to University of Phoenix or something, one of those fake ones. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, these guys went to ITT Tech. I'm not sure that they uh they count. Definitely one of those online degrees. Yep. That uh like Yeah, well, I promise you'll be hireable. And then when they, uh, they get sued for all that, too, because they said you'll be hireable, and then they weren't. Yeah. Nice. So the real question is, did Ace remember to take the bottom base instead of the top one, because it has two gas geysers? Whoa! Okay, that's a lot of stuff. I can't see. There's like this giant smoke screen. <laughs> uh, what is happening? Ooh, that's a problem. Man, they love lurkers. They really do. Absolute lurker fanatics. We should have picked story difficulty. I think that might have been more correct. <laughs> I thought normal was going to be more normal than this. Yeah. Like, I don't feel much of a difference between this and hard. Like, completely honestly. I, As someone who's played hard before, it feels very similar. It's quite similar, I feel. As someone who rewatched the entirety of your previous playthrough, it looks very different. Really? <laughs> the attack waves against you look significantly smaller in total size. Maybe it's because we're just trying to rush so it feels bigger than it actually is. Oh, you know what I should have done? Other than. Oh. Uh, Y'all, the attacks are so frequent. Uh, frequent in chat. Frequent's here. Oh, is he? Nice. 
I don't know. The attacks are feeling so subsorient. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't. I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> Oh my god, these uh, UEDs have 3-3 three, three in the... Oh, goodness. It's so hard to kill. I'm. They're, like, timing their attacks to hit two places at once. That's pretty impressive. Also, they can snipe my gas geyser. Wait, did they close off the Ultra Pen? They did. <laughs> That's actually pretty There are no scientists smart. in the Ultra Pen. Are you serious, game? <sighs> I have received the biggest nerf possible to this mission. They do not tell you how many scientists are left. Top right. Oh my god. Top goodness. right, never mind. I am. They tell you how many scientists are left. I'm super tilted. I'm trying to get my expansion bases, but I got attacked at the main and the expansion at the same time. I cleaned up the expansion as I was building my base, went to the main, and they attacked again <laughs> within like 30 seconds and killed it. Oh. Uh, Fury done. Yeah, I think I'm dead here. I think that you're going to own my time, and this is going to be over. Unfortunately. Uh it's 12 minutes and I don't have an expansion. Oh, no. It's just... It's infinite. They're just it's, rallying it's units. No, here. it's crazy. It is beyond crazy. Again, that's why it had to be the most nerfed AI. Because this AI for Fury of the Swarm is absolutely absurd. Let's see if Anitus will help me, because I need to get Zergling somewhere. Yeah, I oh. think that uh, main base looked very good overall. Hi, herbs. <laughs> the nightest sound effect on the score screen. That's <laughs> 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 the pain of agony. Oh. Okay, drawing time. Oh my, it's... Stop attacking! Is it the Mutas and Guardians? No, it's okay. just an infinite conga line at the bottom of Hydras and Lurkers. Oh, it's just man. never ending. And I can't get a Nidus up because I don't have a uh, creep. Creep. There we go. Finally. Just an infinite conga line of dudes. That's exactly how that phrase goes. Related to... I think I first heard that in a TG video. It's how it goes in a relatively family-friendly... Uh, Location. Okay. Well. Expansion exists. Secured would be a bit of a bold word, so I'm not going to use it. <laughs> and they just keep using guardians to snipe my gas guys or at my main. <laughs> Oh, I've lost it twice now. <laughs> Fury is by far the hardest mission to just get started on. It's so bad. A whole bunch of spores over there. Grab these guys and try to clear stuff out. Unfortunately, this base has a bunch of nothing on it. Scarabs are worse in this game! Did you say scarabs? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah. So I tried to do the uh, uh, Duran cheese on the first top right beacon. Mm -hmm. I think I took like six reaver shots and none of them connected. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. Yeah. I, I, it's incredible. Uh, is StarCraft 64 episode 1 faster? No. Uh, despite having to wait for 20 minutes, it's slower. Yeah, you, you lose so much with the frame rate tanking that even though you save a ton of time in Mission 3, that it's not worth it overall. Right, how many mutas does it take to kill that UED base? Hope it's not too many. No way out the back. 
So to put everything in perspective for how this is going, I almost had plus three on my spire before I had an expansion. <laughs> oh my goodness. I want to say that that was the most magical... Uh, that's, that's the most StarCraft Brood War thing I've ever seen. <laughs> and this like isn't StarCraft five Brood Five scarab shots that just did zero damage. None. Absolutely none. <laughs> I feel like Fortune is favoring you a little bit in this run. I think the developers are have a little bit more to do with it than luck. That was magic. I, uh... I hope that makes good footage. Because that was absolutely goofy. Oh, no way, I can never hold that base. Just gonna macro off three. Yeah, I rigged the installer for some extra buffs. <laughs> That's what I did. It's the installer. Honestly, brilliant. Kudos for that move. <laughs> so funny when I didn't know this ahead of time. Well, you're just like Batman. You prepare for every situation. <laughs> That's exactly how I describe my skill set, Batman. So I have a new tactic, actually. It's pretty good. Uh, I put a okay. bunch of overlords in my muta control group so I can pretend I have more mutas than I do. <laughs> like, it just, it feels, oh yeah, 36 mutas, that's awesome. So, way to go. It feels like I only have the DPS of, like, you know, eight. But it's fine. <laughs> I have one muta, dude. One muta, 35 overlords. That's the game. Ooh, we radiate. Oh, a... Yeah. Didn't have a fun time with that. This is a science facility. So I remember my first time playing through Mass Recall, and one of the scientists ended up in the top right Zerg base. Oh no. I'm hoping that doesn't happen here. I, I hope not for your sake as well. Did you have to restart this mission, Grant? Did I have to restart the mission? No, I just yeah. accepted my terrible fate. I mean, you're making up a lot of time. I am? He finished at 26.28. Oh. Yeah. Man, just imagine if I didn't go for the antenna rush. What'd you end up doing? Going for Muta snipes in the main? Yeah, I just uh, Muta microed my way through their defenses for the Yeah, it was way less defended than I expected. Yeah, despite the 3-3, it's not that bad. No, it really wasn't. And they don't call reinforcements, which is the... Oh, no. That's really bad. I still have to find the scientists. A couple here. There's four somewhere. One, two. Oh no. I'm not seeing them. Three, four. There we go. Alright, that was like a 2330. That's a good bit of time save right there. Oh, we blew up the generator. Are the ultras going to be loose? Yeah, they probably shouldn't use a force field on their ultra gate. Why not just use a gate? 
Actually, I guess ultras could probably eat through a gate really easily. I mean, they just have metal walls for the uh, the rest of the enclosure. It's true. It's just cheap aluminum. It's like a quarter inch thick. They could just walk through it. They wouldn't even need to use their Kaiser blades. All right, let's try this. How is how is the web going? Are you drawing? I'm I'm painting a picture. The picture is something special. Uh oh. I'm so excited to die to a bunch of reaver shots. <laughs> I I really hope you were just lying about dodging all the scarab shots and then I try it and I just lose. That would be so good. Oh Alright chat, I need goodness. you guys to bet who you think is going to win. It's like the first time in forever we've been on the same mission, which is cool. Of blast. Oh, yeah, yes, Chris Blast. He was, in fact, not joking. This is stupid. Yeah, yeah. It's incredibly dumb. What is happening? <laughs> I'm. I literally just ran through the second half of that with an uncloaked Duran, and it was fine. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That is um, ridiculous. There's a... All oh, right. I'm invincible. Oh, you're cheating. That's how. That's it. You're like, yeah, so uh, when you... When you were allowed to do it to skip mission two because it, you know, bugged out on you. Oh, uh, yeah, I just decided to do it as well for every mission. <laughs> it's a good well, strat. I feel like this is one of these missions that's either going to be really short or really, really long. Yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely uh, unsure how this is going right now. Oh gosh, where's my overlord? Get out of there, loser. Yeah. Sometimes if you say mean things to Zelts, they run away. <laughs> or they cohabitate. Oh yeah, that's true. Uh, that happens way more than it should. Zelts are just friendly guys in the end. They are. They're fanatical for friendship. They're just little homies. I remember them hitting with, like, carriers and stuff on this mission. Spawning pools at one shot. So I guess the real question is, can you walk into the, uh, Reaver shots and will they not explode? Because that would make things nice. There's some geometry that makes it work. I don't know uh, anything close to consistent. Yeah, that seems like one of those things that probably now is not the right time to... Okay. Uh, looks like I am doing the legendary, amazing double hydrogen timing. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to go for the really, really ornate version of just shoving hydras at the problem until it's fixed. Good way to do it. I have a feeling you're going ultras. I don't know why, but you seem like an ultra boy. 
I did Ultras in Mission 4. I'm not on Ultras here. Oh. Have you considered I like Ultras? Ultras, but much smaller. Ah, yeah. Defilers. Mm -hmm. They're not actually that much like Ultras, Ektar, but... You're learning. I maintain that Hydralisks are just upright beavers with spikes. <laughs> Grant, I want you to know I also have two Hydra Dens, so... Nice. Which is weird, because you're going for beavers, or whatever you're doing. Yeah, but there's also, uh... There's also the issue of scouts. The things that have never been said before for 200. Oh my gosh! Scouts! Also things that have never been said for 200. If I lose to a scout, I'm going to be so sad. A retirement moment. What does Kuros the Blast do? It sure doesn't do damage. Oh, increases damage that the target takes. Okay. <laughs> like, sure. fired it off and the guy is just like, huh? It also deals a small amount of damage over a long period of time. You said it was terrible. It seems kind of bad. Ten seconds, yeah. Like, individual units don't live for ten seconds in StarCraft. That's not how this game works. And five per second for ten seconds. That's so little damage, too. It really it's is. really <laughs> not much. If you could, like, stack it, then, yeah, it'd totally have some value, but I'm not seeing it here. If we could clone Duran, that's what he should have done instead of making the hybrid. Just lots of Durans. Yeah, the energy decrease rate for Duran is crazy. Yeah, I went into the first place and did the, uh, you mean when he's cloaked? Yeah. Yeah, I went into the first place and did the thing, and I that's why I had to run out without cloak on, because I just did the normal mm -hmm. thing Same. and he was out. It's, Same. Uh, I get a queen's nest? Man. I have such a hard time seeing on mass recall. You seem to be doing a better job at the site thing, because every time I complain about it, you're like, no, it's fine. Which means you might have better vision. It might just be a monitor setting as well. That's true. I do like my stuff being cinematic. I like my deep darks. You're probably a gamma boy. <laughs> you're gamma male. <laughs> Okay. That's something I haven't seen before. Uh oh. Maelstrom. Ooh. Melee Storm. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. That's the name. He's meleeing tasteless. I have 24 combat units in my control group, and I can't find all but four of them. <laughs> That's the Mutalisk method. Oh, it's all Overlords again. Always has been. Our forces are under attack. Oh wow, they're attacking up here too. I found that the Mass Recall AI really, really, really likes to hit like three places at once always. Yeah, it's great. They're, they're so kind. Man, scarabs are dumb. <laughs> Every single time they get dumber. Five charges set. 20 minutes. I was literally about to say I'm surprised I haven't heard you win yet, and then you said the bad word. The bad word not Mission being a swear, instinct. but the victory condition. <laughs> I've won. No, censor it. <laughs> okay, that was epic. <laughs> what, what was epic? The, uh, the cinematic. The oh. cinematic at the end. It was really cool. Okay, how do you get overlord speed? Movement speed of overlords. I don't need antenna yet. <laughs> Laid man the heck out of that door.
hoping I can just, like, make a comeback somehow with... It really has to be the Overmind, right? I don't see a place that I can do anything besides there. I think you're too much of an Omega Gamer to lose oh, on Omega. Omega Gamer. Yeah. <laughs> you, you see that mission, you go, Omega lol. Exactly it. That's, uh, in, in the honor of the late John Bain, Omega lol. Okay, I'm seeing that maelstrom. Um. So I got a black screen. Just kind of waiting for the cinematic to end. I don't know if the cinematic is going to end. Oh yeah, I think I've had that issue before. Uh, Did you know that we're doing troubleshooting for Mass Recall right now? Apparently. I th I've been sitting on a black screen for 30 seconds now. I'm going, uh, with permission, I'd like to enter uh, the victory cheat. Uh, yeah, sure. No problem. Ladies and gentlemen, we are finally having some bad luck for Ace. He is, uh... It doesn't quite make up for what happened on mission two, but we are getting there. That's all I can ask for. Okay, the game has determined me victorious, and I'm still stuck in the cutscene. I might have to restart the client. I can just end and go back to the menu and open mission eight. Oh, so I'm going to do that. Yeah. I hope that doesn't happen to you. Uh, Slay beast. Go, 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 go. All right, we've drawn the web. I'm gonna be able to do two runs in the time it takes to finish this. <laughs> That's the fun. Is I'm prolonging the experience. I hope you're having a good time. I'm enjoying it. I am. I am. It's a novel experience. I'm very curious what'll happen if you, like, normalize splits to Mission 2 not messing, like, being a complete disaster. Yeah, that is a very good point. If we're doing... Because you've caught up on the last, like, four missions, I feel like. Yeah, I have no idea. What the... Oh! I have... The boy. Legacy of the boy. Legacy of Zeratul. Oh, you have Zeratul on the mission? You do. That cutscene's gonna be awkward when he comes in and steals his own kill. <laughs> A hundred damage. And, uh... He must survive, but that could make any kind of infiltrate attack very interesting. Yeah, it's only 25 attacks. To kill the Overmind. Yep. Wait, I actually don't know if the Overmind has any base armor. He might. Uh, he gets a natural region, so it'll be 26. Ah, oh, yeah. Does he in this? <laughs> Maybe he's uh, a side disruptor. Should. He doesn't regenerate or burn down. <laughs> Why is a Dark Templar hockey on K? Sorry, what was what your what was your drawing time? 20? It would... 2046, when, 20, uh, when the screen goes black. Cool. For the for the cinematic. What'd you get? Uh, I am about to set the charges to overload, and I am sub-18 currently. Oh my gosh, I'm only two minutes into this mission, I'm actually quite concerned. And that's with I, I had two reloads. Um, so... I couldn't see the point. <laughs> it was under a million Hydras and Ultras. Oh man, this is actually... Really close. Will explode on your oh, no. well. Yeah, this went perfectly as long as you don't look at my bases. And have them retrieve the matriarch. Duran, Did you have to reload at all? On this mission? I didn't, I didn't, no, I haven't gotten into the next one, though. I mean, reload the, uh, like, have to reload a save or anything. Oh, no. Yeah, that was 1838 at the same time that Ace was 2046. Oh, man. Overly safe. Yeah, that's the thing is I've been really stressed, so. Oh gosh, how long is this cutscene? It's always long. Not the rocks. I keep hitting Starcraft escape. Count. I keep hitting escape just hoping that it will let me skip it. <laughs> it yeah, I just does. double tap them. I just double tap escape and just kind of hope one time it'll work. He usually doesn't. Oh, 
Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Is this the black screen that you had, like, right after that uh, Zealot cinematic? With the yeah, show? and, yep. Okay, so and what did you, you do? Uh, I had to exit out entirely. You might have to reload the mission and just the uh, the cheat, because it won't work right there. Oh. It won't work right now. So I have to restart the mission and then hit the, uh, what is the victory cheat? What is best in life? What is best in life, thank you. And then that skips the cutscene. It should, you know, it's this is one of the games of all time. Zeratul, please work. Very. Come on, local player, yeah. you can do it. It didn't do anything. It's yeah, just Ace sitting there. Ace didn't actually use the cheat. He has all the missions done from a previous playthrough, so he just loaded into the next mission. Can I do that from the... Like, can I unlock every mission from the menu? I'm gonna pause because this is dumb. Yeah, if uh, we get an infinite black screen or a thing that doesn't progress us is not exactly ideal. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Now I have to restart the client. Yeah, I'm paused, so you don't have to worry about it. Thank you, I appreciate that. Any of it? You can unlock from the menu. Three DTs in StarCraft 1 all have different move and attack speeds. That's cool. I did not know that. The only one I knew is that the Hyperion attacks faster than the other battle cruisers. Are the different NORADs different? Like the two and the three? Well, I guess two is just stuck in the, the ground. The two is a shipwreck, or it's a <laughs> yeah, cruiser wreck. Yeah, that one doesn't have very good move speed. Nope. It's okay about the timer. I don't know how to pause my timer, guys. I don't live split very often, and I have no I, idea yeah. what my hockey is. So sorry. We'll, we'll figure it out. Okay, how do we unlock all the missions? Unlock all missions. Probably that button. Except. All right. Reckoning. If you're able to no, go not into the reckoning. City, I will Giant Grant Games, you moron! <laughs> I went. <laughs> I was like, there's two as wonders. As long as all 10 missions, or all 11 missions are done, we can do it in any order. No, oh, thank you. <laughs> the only way that I'm ever going to do decently is uh, if I copy your strategies by listening to your pain. There that's you go. I, Perfect. That's how I keep up. Uh, I bet we could, if we really tried, we could have done so much better on... Uh, Fury. Oh, yeah. All right, tell me when you were loading into... I am loading into the briefing, so feel free to go. All right, I'm going to continue. Yeah, we're going to have to do the uh, time calculation math at the end. Subtract the bugs from every side. Ooh and see how that goes. That'll be exciting. All right, how many missions, or how many minutes in are you here? 15, Six 30? in game. Six, that's not bad. No, it's like four real minutes. I'm saying you are definitively catching up. Of all the definitives, that is my favorite one. Why do I never remember that the enemy always has 14,000 lurkers? <laughs> it's really just a state of being. I wonder if the cliffs are so close, if we could just blink Zeratul to the end and cheese it somehow. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past it. Wouldn't either. Someone get the Dorton in here, he'll figure it out. Oh gosh. The Dorton got gifted a sub earlier. Get him. Quick. Does the Dorton play StarCraft 2? I thought he was just, like, legally required to play StarCraft 1. Playing some other game recently. I don't know how much StarCraft 2 is actually played. Um, yeah, because it would be really interesting to see his routings in StarCraft 2, so I kind of wish he did. Because he comes yeah, up with some crazy stuff. Like, stuff. Void, 
dude is a, like I think a brilliant IL router. Yeah. Uh, that's crazy. I have not played the UED AIP. I have an interest in it, but I haven't done. It. I didn't like UED AIP that much. Like it's yeah. The AI is so inconsistent, you. which is very frustrating. I don't know if you Slightly were there ironic. for my uh, NORAD 2 experience, but it caused me I, to quit. I remember. Yeah. yeah. Ouch. Ouch. I kind of don't want to go Mutus here. I don't know if that's dumb. I don't think that's a bad idea not to do. I don't think you're... Wait, did you double or triple like neg- <laughs> You don't think that's a bad idea not to do- Sure. Go mute as Gran, it's great. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> is the correct answer. I don't not not think it isn't not terrible to do. I do appreciate how the AI just seems to rally literally every unit in the history of mankind at the same time to your base at the beginning of the mission. It's spectacular. The, uh, the AI decisions of how to attack her. No, there's no else. decision, it's just the word yes. <laughs> I like that the Terran dropped that scan right as their last Marine died. To be fair, Comsat energy is like infinite and free. I don't know how you ever lose to a cloaked unit in StarCraft One. They're they're so good. Honestly, I kind of agree with you. It's... Artosis is so mad right now. Like he's not watching, but I can feel like he just got angry for some reason when I said that. <laughs> My favorite thing about your streams are how often Artosis just randomly catches stray hits. I mean, <laughs> the there's an issue with uh, content creation where it is objectively bad to punch down, right? And that means there's only like two people that I can punch up at. There's uh, Artosis and Loco, but Loco is like really nice and he's not Some... controversial or anything. And Artosis, he loves making the controversy because... You know, it's his style. You know, he wants to be divisive with his content, so I try I feel to feed like into everyone's that. allowed to punch Harstum. I, I do that whenever we play uh, game show stuff. Rank roulette and the other game. Oh yeah, wait, no, I've never played on Harstum's other game. <laughs> so, don't expect the VOD at some point soon. Uh, Make sure to, if you are possibly in any instance looking for giant grant games and Harston content, there is Rank Roulette. I recommend it. Yeah. Uh, Which, yeah. as we've learned, you have to, uh, the editor has to cut down like 60% of it because they just banter too long. Yeah, the episodes are generally about 20 minutes long, but it takes us like an hour and 10 to record it. I feel really bad, but yeah, it's just banter, banter, banter. It's a lot of fun. And then I lose every time. <laughs> you almost made playoffs this time. Yeah, it's tough because you're playing against everybody ever. The worst part, though, was he told me when, like, when the game happened that I straight up wouldn't make the playoffs. And then my score was actually better than we thought it was by one. So then I was in the running and nobody told me. So then I just got a message later being like, sorry, you're out of the playoffs. It's like, I know it's been that way forever. It's like, no, you're actually in. Now you're out. You were in, but we've uh, recounted and now you're out for real. <laughs> it's like, wow, I've never had my hopes dashed so quickly before. From no hopes at the start at all to this. Yeah, exactly. I don't know if attacking these bases is correct, but money. Grandy DT shoot up asking for a friend. Yeah, actually. 
Okay, good. Good. Uh, you ha just actually use the disruption web ability to pull people down to the ground and then attack them with your DTs. Ooh, smart, smart. Casually, Grant is ahead in supply right now. That doesn't mean much. It's Zerg. It doesn't. But it's the first time that it's happened when you've both been on the same mission for, like, an hour. That's exciting. I love Sunks, dude. Oh, well, that infested Terran doesn't. Who, who created... Like, John Sunkington did a great job. The man in that his colonies. That infested Terran was not a fan. Yeah, as soon as I said that, he was like, allow me to introduce myself. <laughs> What's up? So many dropper lords, aren't we? You know what they say, dropper once you lords. drop, you can't stop. Interesting. Yeah, I, I don't, I'm not going to cheese the mission, I think. I think I'm just going to try to bust the main base with lots of zerg. I know that sounds stupid. I think that's very reasonable. I always appreciate when I say something dumb and then you say it's reasonable. It makes me feel good about myself for a little bit, even <laughs> though I know I shouldn't. Now we'll go antennas first. Xerath will get in the back. Wouldn't it be really funny if Xerath didn't count as a Dark Templar for killing the Overmind? I... That's my biggest concern, is that he doesn't. There's no way they would make that mistake. Right? Uh, yeah, after we worked so hard to load into the mission, there's no way that this recall could have any errors. I feel like 50% of my experience with mass recall is, how did this enemy unit get over here? It's the StarCraft 1 experience with StarCraft 2. I don't know how they did it, but they've done such a great job. Okay. Two Ultralisk upgrades. Ugh. They're not even Tarasks. This is definitely the mission that's taking the the most dis uh, different approach from between the two of you. Oh, it's actually really exciting. Particularly when it's kind of like we're close to each other in time now. Wow, okay. That's a horrifying amount of stuff. You took the words right out of my mouth. Don't notice me, senpai. Thank you. Uh, spore him! so scared. Four spore and seven years ago, baby. Four spore, seven sunk ago. No, no seven sunk, I wish. <gasps> oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> this is terrible. Who put this here? Oh, thank goodness. That was one of those sounds that was either like the I barely healed the Overmind and Grant is really far behind, or I'm in terrible shape. Uh, it, we're, we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. But I found seven Valkyries and that was bad for my stuff. Yeah, I, this is why I was like, yeah, I'm kind of done with the Muta here. I think I'm gonna try other units. It yeah. feels like the, I, particularly I think Omega is gonna be awful for that. I don't I see. Agree. I don't see Mutas being the winning strat there. Yeah, 
Maybe this? If I catch up, it's all because of the antenna's upgrade, by the way. We can do this. We can totally do this. It's a lot of stuff. The flock of Valkyries is just kinda mean, though. <laughs> it really is. Unkind. UED is not here to play fair. The the Mask Recall uh, developers really wanted to remind you that the UED are the more technologically advanced Terrans. Jimmy. I found the Valkyrie. Unfortunately, I have Devourers. Oh boy, plural. Well, I started with them. And they are oh, immortal. That is never plural, die. too. Oh, oh no. I'm in a very particular spot currently. You're both in about the same spot. Oh, good. You know, the Valkyries, you were like, oh, those are so strong. They're actually really, really good when you don't have any anti-air because you're all in your overlords. Yeah. They, uh, there's about 47 happens. of them just chilling right there, and they killed about half of my army before it dropped. That was, uh, that was rough. Oh. <laughs> oh, Grant just found out the exact same issue Ace had. Oh god, we are so close. Well, honestly, that is music to my ears. I It really is. That is something cool. The comeback is on. Yeah, whoever figures out this attack first is... Well, obviously is going to be winning, but is going to have, you know, fully gotten ahead. Wait, is there a way off of this plateau? No, this is a full plateau? Why? <laughs> There's no ramp! It's <laughs> not good. You ever just blink forward and then with Zeratul and 700,000 detection indicators show up? All yep. Right. That was a mistake. Zeratul needs to uh, not be aggressive. Yeah. Zeratul needs to chill. The Overmind being kind of buried is a uh, is a real problem. There's not a lot of surface area if you're understanding my vibe. Yeah, I mean, this is everything is problematic here. This is really tough. Normal difficulty, by the way. I know I'm like I'm. I was in the air if I wanted to do ultra run or muta run. <laughs> And I think both are wrong. Yeah, I think that just you gotta you gotta actually fight like a fighter. Yep. This is a war game, not a run game. Do you not have defilers in your attack force, Ace? Oh, that would have been smart. Do 
Did the override gain health? What was that? Okay, I have a backup strat. We're gonna go for some backups here. It's not gonna be good, but it is going to back up. Wow, I'm like actually gonna lose this fight, I think. Oh man. Well, I'm super supply block now too. Oh, I was really hoping there was more than four Hydras in that Nidus. Zeratul has 55 HP. It's five less than the max. Unfortunately, I was including shields. Oh no. I don't know if I'm gonna need these bases, but I'll take them. These mutas are so tanky. Oh, they snipe the Nidus. Snipe us the Nidus. So rude. You address me. Oh man. You close? No. Oh, okay. Uh, I am in pain. I'm... Yeah, figuring out a place, an angle to attack into is the really hard part, it feels like. Yeah. Everything yeah. is so well defended. Hmm. I wish we had scans. I think that the scan would like be the greatest thing here. It probably would be. Wait a minute. What if I made an unreasonable amount? Please. If Zerg had access to scans, Bisu wouldn't have a career. That is true. <laughs> Whoa! The Lurker is the greatest thing they have ever created in Mass Recall. Oh my good golly goodness, they hurt so hard. Yeah, Lurker. Most... So problematic. The best part about being in the call is that I can make sure to open the appropriate stream every time one of you reacts to your army dying. I didn't die. I, uh... I lived just with found style. out part of what was going on with the uh, the Valkyries. <laughs> they were part of an attack wave. Right. Well, part of the reason you have extra minerals in StarCraft 1 is so you can build 700,000 overlords when the infinite Valkyries come. It's true. It's funny because a lot of the way that I think about things in runs like this when I'm just trying to figure out how to better stuff is I go, okay, were they sending an attack wave? Is that part of the reason their defense was really strong is they were building up that attack wave? But in Mass Recall, the answer is, yeah, they're it's building an attack wave and they're sending it always, forever. Infinitely. Yeah, there's... And trying to parse what to do as a result can be very difficult. Okay, Zeratul, you're out of the combat control group. You don't deserve to be here. Alright, I'm over-overlording. It's a strategy you may have not heard of, because it's bad. I've seen it many times. Come on, overlords. You gotta pop. Once you pop, you can't stop. Oh, I have a bunch over here. Yes. 
I cannot got believe him. how you got him. Yeah. Oh jeez. Oh, I got I got Zeratul's been killed. Hold on. Uh oh. Well, you can you can skip if it's killed. Hold on. Is giving me a restart screen. Yeah, that's what he was happened. Definitely, he definitely did not survive more than about two seconds after. Listen, two so. seconds is two seconds. You got it. All right. All right. We will... For my own honor, I'm going to try the attack one more time and see if I can do it a little bit better. See. Say mission complete. Do you think you could do it just not including Zeratul in the attack? No. <laughs> Absolutely not. The Overmind has like 50 HP a second regen. Oh wow. Yeah. Uh dude is crazy. Lurkers really do lurk, don't they? They do be lurking a lot of the time. Come on. It's a rather large attack wave. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I'm out of here. Doing it this way does mean you miss the end cutscene. That's true. I still don't feel like it. I don't like Zeratul Dead. I, that was actually a really good attack right there. Yeah, I know what you mean. I felt the same way with uh, mm. my Kerrigan thing. It was like, it felt I, I got the right attack. That's what I wanted to do. And then yeah. she just explodes after in the cutscene. And yeah, it, it wasn't like good. during the cutscene, it was literally 1.5 seconds after the Overmind dies, which is still a time that would... Like, I don't need to do that in the base game, but, oh gosh. Because you lose control immediately in the base game, and that's why I'm like, okay, that's reasonable for the situation. Right. have a beachhead, but I actually have to attack into the big scary base. I, I killed the low base to see if that would help, just so I could actually attack, but now I have to get up that really thin ramp. I wonder if Zeratul can take a Nidus in this. That'd be really nice, because he can't do it in the base game. Okay, I did it and Zeratul survived. Oh, nice. Good. Cool. No moral ambiguity. Does that mean that you're morally superior to me? I have achieved the moral high ground over myself. I still think that uh, when we're comparing times, we compare off your first one, not your second. That's that's pers that's perfectly fine with me. For the purpose of this. Felt like I should actually get an attack that Zeratul lived. He lived with like 330 health. It was crazy. So this is where I say thanks to uh, everybody for sticking around. This has been fun. Oh my gosh. They didn't go in the Nidus. Uh oh. What? Oh my gosh, someone just came up from behind and sniped my Nidus. Oh no. It's not the end of the world, like I have a big attack force here and stuff, yeah. but... <laughs> Can you rebuild the Nidus? Yeah. In any way? I busted through with 20 Ultras, 8 DT plus air tool. Uh, 
It was it was a lot. It's definitely a tad more defended than it is in the uh, base game. Just a little. It's just a bit. The whole 8 Ultralisk 6 DT under a Dark Swarm became 20 Ultralisk 8 DT 0 tool and a Dark Swarm or 5. Oh gosh, uh, Zeratul, you actually need to be next to the Overmind when it dies. Yeah, I do address you, bud. There we go, I got him. Well, that was cool. Oh. Are you ready to wreck? Are you on Reckoning? Well, you have a cutscene to sit through. Yeah, I do. I am Reckoning ready. I, I feel like I the cheese is not going to work on <laughs> the record. Oh, that's... They will find it instantly. They didn't find my proxy hatch on this one. Oh, fair enough. But, like, they just... They send stuff to attack you, though, right? And it'll just go that way. Yeah. Oh, I... I think I'm going to try it. I don't know. It's fun trying to do the speed strats, so you can be... You know, the narrative can be, like, speed strats from the base game versus right. mass recall and things like that. It, it creates a narratively interesting thing. Um, By that you mean it gives it me time to catch up, I agree. I need it. I think it's reasonable that the, the Guardians can do some damage. Uh, I don't think the AI protection zones are the same like they are in StarCraft 1. I feel like, I don't know if you're doing damage with the Guardians right now, but my gut feeling is that they just send a scout. Yeah, that's that's my gut feeling against the Protoss. Yeah, I have an idea for what I'm going to do. Fortunately, I have a long time to think about it, which is great. Yeah, I spent a lot of that cutscene trying to figure out what I'm doing. This may be a bit of an extra long uh, stream, by the way, guys. I apologize for that. But uh, we got to... Apologizing for content. Well, we could have been faster if I was better. It's true. If only we had practiced. <laughs> I wish we could see Kerrigan. Oh, she's cloaked. What if cloaked units couldn't see anything? That'd be fun. That would be a great ability. Uh, that existed in World of Warcraft when mages used invisibility. They could only see invisible units. It was uh, a wacky and wild adventure. That's what we'll call it. Somewhere on the planet Char, six hours later. It would be incredible if in the, uh, the remaster they gave Kerrigan ice powers in between... To slay the beast in the reckoning. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Get them, guardians. Why are there Corsairs and two scouts at my main? Yeah, because they... The the Protoss actually exists in this. They don't just exist to die? That's unreasonable. I can't handle this. I know, it's weird. Once again, immediately diverging strategies coming out, though. Yeah, I thought that's how this one would go. Because I've, uh, I've been playing this mission for other reasons recently, and... So I've been thinking about it a lot. Been doing the speedrun practice, of course. Yeah. That's why I lost my guardian so quick. Oh, almost lost him. It's practice. To practice losing them. Yeah, you gotta practice losing your guardian so that when you don't lose them, you get surprised and you're like, wow, I'm so powerful. 
This is way more power than I'm used to having. Hey, did someone type in power overwhelming? Like, what is this? Is this Omega where I'm throwing the Zergling under the terrarium? Well, that sucked. I found a flaw to my plan and it uh, skittled towards me and exploded. Oh no. We're just working on that no guardian strat. Yeah. Oh no. Should have gone with the yes guardian strat. What are you doing, idiot? <laughs> Oh, uh, I may end up uh, shooting myself in the foot here with my innovation. <laughs> innovation was fantastic, though. Yeah, unfortunately, I am not he. Oh, no. I am a cheap knockoff. Wish.com innovation. There's the Corsairs and Scouts. Wouldn't it be funny if we just didn't make the timer? Pat, I'm We're genuinely concerned on it in some cases. Trying to be as fast as possible and we can't make the timer on normal difficulty despite the fact that we've done it on hard before. That'd be so good. Oh, man. Oh, this guy's back. I lost my Hydra Den. You lost your Hydra Den? Yeah, UED counterattack. Ah. I like how as it gets further in, we get quieter and quieter because we're focused. Like, actually Yeah. Trying. Yeah, I noticed that when, uh, it's one of my biggest regrets from our co-op series is, uh, I just, once we hit the Brood Wars Zerg campaign, I just, like, stopped interacting at any normal level. That's it's just, like, hard. Focus, do the th it's so hard. People don't understand how hard it is to play and talk at the same time. It is a it's ridiculously difficult thing. That's why I didn't do it for GDQ, because it's too darn hard. guys over here, grab this right here. Ektar, who's winning? <laughs> Ace is. He's got a he's got a natural already. There's nothing natural about Ace. Man's a machine. It's true, he can do math on stream. That's that gives me the greatest power in uh four plus three. Trivia murder party seven! <laughs> Incredible. How did he do it? God. I have no affinity with the number seven. Did I get lurk? Okay, I did get lurker down. Good. Oh, that's horrifying. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. What the? F do you remember when uh, Ace lost his Hydra den? You may need Hydras now, I, I'm guessing. Yeah, a non-zero number of scouts and a carrier have shown up. Yeah, that sounds about right. Also, he's gone suddenly very quiet for some reason. Yeah, that's I can't crazy. imagine why. I'm so glad that in a uh, drawing of the web when you said you needed to play out of your mind and I said just play out of your mind, it actually worked from there, because that would have been really awkward if we got into, like, an awkward standstill where nothing was happening and the attack wasn't working anymore. I'll oh, be honest, I, I was that. horrified when you said that. I was 
you should, if you watch the GDQ VOD, watch my face when I notice the Hydras are under attack. I lose it. I'm like, oh my god, this mission is about to be over and I'm doomed. Yeah, like the, the first thing that you don't say to someone when they're focusing really hard is just do well, man. <laughs> just don't mess up. You're only in front of 60,000 people. Just play well. Yeah, that's fine. You see, that's this is why we've done all the practice, though, so Ace performs under pressure. It's true. That's, that's why we did practice. I mean, that practice paid off in dividends. Thank you, Trad. Okay, let's try to get our supply higher than Ace's again. I don't think it's going to happen. You do have very nice supply right now. 73, yeah. <laughs> Kind of a weird number to like, but sure. Uh, eight seconds of stream delay. It was a bit lower at the time. 68. That's... Yeah. Chat, Why do you is think the this save is good? failing? Yeah, uh, I am had to manual save, too. I'm manually saving. Yeah, do it. No, it no that's what I'm trying doing. to manually that's failing save. Oh. manual save. Mine may have manual save, or failed, too, then. Um, don't lose. <laughs> Just play well. <laughs> oh, good. Thanks. That's perfect. That's the advice I needed. Your supply is higher now. Nice. It's kind of weird to say mid attack, though. It's like, yeah, I just lost a bunch of stuff. Our supply is higher. Okay. Yeah, he Ace also just destroyed the carrier in the Protoss base and uh, is continuing to attack from there, so there's a bit of a different frame of reverence. Yeah, fair enough. I don't have to actually kill Reavers. Yeah, who cares about the Reavers when all of your army is in the sky? Little guardian noob. You to man. Probably not devours. The UED has been really quiet, and it is freaking me out. Like, I don't know what they're planning. There's nukes coming or something. Mass Recall really got the AI right for this mission. The bonus mission is going to be weird. Yeah, that's going to be a weird one. I don't uh, think I either of us knows how to do it if the cheese doesn't work. Like and I don't think the cheese is going to work. Yeah, legitimately, I like you could not ask me what is in that mission. I wouldn't be able to tell you. I have a Zerg wings for kill oh, speed. Here it come. Going. Oh, this isn't a big army. That's just sunks are amazing. They can't keep getting away with it, but they do. What's a bunk? Oh. It's just uh chat, please don't look at this. This is normal. <laughs> you ever you ever have an issue where the UED is attacking you, so you use your lurkers to defend, but their missile turret can spot them? <laughs> Can't say I've had that issue before, Grant. Yeah, I, I sure hadn't until now. I am so scared now that the save is failing. I am too. I think it might just be this mission exactly. Oh, DTs! Yeah, no! Actually, quite impressed with my attack there. Why did I have detection on one DT? How did I see it? I'm so confused. Oh my gosh, this is the worst thing that's ever happened in human history. 
No, 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 not the Nidus! Not the Nidus. Anything but the Nidus on the whole army. I just lost like 30 supply to a DT. Or I have to, to reckoned DT. the ing. <sighs> 11, 15 ish on the timer. Oh, the top timer. I was like, wow, that's fast. Yeah, it was 18 total. 18 something. See how this game goes. <laughs> I sure hope Rashigal is going to be okay. You know, it's Samsori, and I think she's fine. Yeah. I think the greatest thing that you can ever see while fighting Protoss is when uh, they just take a bunch of Templar and morph them into Archons without using Storm. And you're just like, alright. <laughs> Yeah, that's Life uh, is good. that's the safe saving moment. <laughs> Ignore the gaping stab wound. Oh, I'm so sorry, Rashigal. All right, say the voice line, Zeratul. Say it. What? Nani. <laughs> what is your strategy for reckoning? Uh, ult I killed the bottom left base really quickly, and then I went Ling Ultra Hydra, used a Nidus on bottom left, and busted in. And then uh, got Overlord Speed instead of drops, so waiting on that. Oh, nice. Perfect. Uh, ventral versus Pneumatized. No antennas happens. this time. Oh, that's good. I went, I used my initial guardians to poke the north UED Terran, mm. take the base with the gas up there, use that to double my gas income, and then went, uh, once I got enough guardians, snowballed into the Protoss base. I did kill the bottom one. Uh, 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 yeah, snowball guardian was the plan there, and I think it worked well. I would have had quite a good time here if it were not for missing drops. Ugh ventral waiting room 138 seconds is ridiculous it would have been faster it's a, such a long upgrade come on photon cannon killed my ultralisk overlord You know what? Let's just do this. Oh boy. Alright, reckoning done. Does Zeratul still have blink? Yeah, it does. That seems very potentially good. We might have to do all the objectives though in order. We sure might. Are you gonna learn? Um I'm unsure about that one. You, come on, you gotta try you gotta try the speed strat once. Usually, yeah. Uh... This is a long cutscene too, isn't it? It's quite a beefy one. Except for that one line from Zeratul. Darn you, Kerrigan, for what I must stab. Thank you, Zeratul. You have freed me from her vile control at last. Her vile control? Wasn't she freed oh, from no. Kerrigan's vile disruption? I must wow. Oh. Call back. Wow. You saw her true you know, colors, the fury of the so swarm. Oh, oh my god, he said the things! It's like you were listing off songs from the JSRF OST and you're a donation message. I can't believe that Zeratul has slayed the beast! Such sophistication <laughs> in your humor. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Her reign of fire certainly come to an end. We're just starting. And then Gilmorian she said, combine. Starcraft Brood War Zerg campaign, any percent. <laughs> 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 
I hope that on the final mission, the Terran and Protoss don't kill or combine their forces. You will regret this decision, Kerrigan. We shall meet again. Oh, they flashbang you when he teleports out. That's awesome. So did the speedrun strat work? I haven't gotten a drop ship yet. Oh. I haven't seen one. Like yeah, I, it didn't pull the science vessel either. either. Yeah, that science, science vessel. I like to believe yeah. that you've just been waiting there the entire time at the cliff for a drop ship. Just like where's yeah. the bus? <laughs> it'll it'll be here eventually. Can't cue. So slow. Zeratul can't hit that. Oh my god, there go all the shields. Cool. Oh, we're on our Tannis medium difficulty. Nice. Alright, save successful. Nice. Oh yeah. Let's, uh... It's just that... What is happening with that laser? It is going absolutely everywhere. That is, like, everyone's first experience with a Void Ray. Uh, I don't think the Void Ray had a laser going around screen like a, I don't know, New York rat on cocaine or something. The thing's going crazy. I've never been to you, New York, so I can't, can't speak. <laughs> but the cocaine part you have familiarity with? O only rats. <laughs> Listen, so, I was going to say Sylvanas. Anyone who is, like, vaguely related to the sciences probably knows a thing or two about rats on cocaine. That's, like, half of what science is. Ah! I can't believe we'll be starting this lab rat off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's an objective up here. I should probably do that. Yeah, I don't know if you can uh, cheese it or not. I, I still haven't seen a dropship, so uh, and we're in the waiting room. Do we have to sit through these cutscenes? Oh, no. Sure do. There's a Protoss in this cell. Whoa. There's a High Templar in my boot. <laughs> I want you. Thank you. Darn it, guys. Our High Templar exploded. Oh. That's not good. Oh, what happened? Don't worry about it. Oh, I'm not worried, but I'm just curious. <laughs> Because you sounded Here. really excited, and that made me think you found a dropship, and now you're less excited, which makes me think that you unfound a dropship. Oh. Lockdown's a fun spell. Ah, yeah. That is that is truly a fact. Enjoy your 44.91 seconds of fun, or whatever it is. Uh, that's exactly how much fun I'm having. Wait, why did my timer stop? Oh. Oh, my live split crashed. Not great. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, it's just not. I've never had it crash before. Huh. I guess I'm going to remove that from the screen. Sorry about that, guys, for people who care about the time. There's a Zergling in this set. How many uh, of those objectives are there on this map? I believe there are four. Does that include the final one? Yes. Cool. It's a Zerglin's air tool. Smaller top of Zerg. <laughs> All the math flashing on the screen. <gasps> Whoa, what could that be? Why do oh, they run. send. There's cloaked ghosts on this mission? There sure are. 
What a decision. They already EMP'd me, but like, we don't need cloaked ghosts here, brother. Guess I gotta I know this. there's an SCV somewhere that allows me to repair. Uh, so far, I've not found it. Alright, let's learn about some hybrid. There is a circling in this tank. What is going on? Am I supposed to get around this? I'm surprised that no one has used the what's this? There's a zergling in this tank for some like meme unit. Well, I know what we're doing on memes of liberty. Not done yet. That would that <laughs> how could that so not exist somewhere? N27 completed. Experiment 2273 progressing. By the gods, this can't be happening. Can't be happening, guys. Alright. This mission truly is one of the missions. Excellent. I really like it because it's part of hit video game StarCraft. Also, I don't know where to go. Can we mind control Nursodon? Oh yeah. That was a good use of my resources in a competition. Let's go. I'm done. Nice. That wasn't close. <laughs> Oops, I'm not done with the run. Oh, Sadani got mind control. <laughs> yeah, I probably shouldn't have uh, mind control Nursadon. That has definitely put me in a disadvantageous position. I uh, I got blown up by an infested Terran and lose lost two Dark Archons. Oh. <sighs> oh my God! This is the two and a half minute dialogue. Yeah, it is. Oh, let's go. Donations, anyone? Uh, I know we had 250 from Subsorian during GDQ, uh, who wanted to make sure that the couch lore was accurate, and it was, so All right, I'm done. glad that Phoenix being nice. Oh my god, you're like a minute behind me into Omega. Okay. Oh, that's not good. It could be good. I got three of them. I got three of the beacons and then Dematrix, Zeratul, and dove them onto the final bu uh, button, but I didn't know where it was, so I kind of ran around. I did the same exact thing, but I lost their tool because I couldn't find the button the first time. No! <laughs> oh, this is so close. I can't believe how close this is. It yeah. has no like, right okay. to be. Genuinely, like, I am better at the StarCraft Brood Wars Zerg speedrun because I've played it for literally almost 200 hours. Mm -hmm. The You play StarCraft 2 and StarCraft in general, all the time. You are objectively a better gamer than I am. And I think that's what's, uh, you're just catching a couple edges and just doing really well with it. Yeah, but your map so, knowledge is definitely paying off in a lot of ways, like. It is, and that's, it's working out, but it's also, it, that's what's making it close, is we're coming at it from different angles. Yeah, that's why like, I thought this would be specific. fun, is because we, it's like half my expertise, half your expertise, and that makes it really, really close. Oh, I love yeah, watching I, the reflection of his face. It's oh, so it's good so problem. good. It's my specific knowledge against your general knowledge. Um, and that's that's where we're at. Okay, I got General forever. do knowledge. Oh my gosh, how much cutscene do they want us to watch? I love lore. <laughs> Sublorian. Yeah, like, Subsorian is just basking in this stream right now. He is taking in the <laughs> double lore. Uh, if you don't follow Subsorian on Twitter, do so. He posts, like, the most archaic, awesome StarCraft stuff. Like, uh, the picture of the two beta discs he got. Uh, and then posted the code and everything, the ISOs or whatever on them, on archive.org. Super cool. Nice. Is it that different? Like, 
Is it something I don't that's know. That's what they're trying to figure out. That's uh, that's the goal. Forever. Epic Zerg mix. It's my fav favorite. It's delicious. Epic Zerg mix. I pick it up from Trader Joe's. <laughs> it's got peanuts and M and M's and Zerglings. I like it when the Banelings pop in your mouth. Dugal Artanis. Oh, I'm Manx. supposed to Why click are... here. <laughs> the text. No. Time loss. All right, gamers, here we go. So I found something out. You'll find it soon, so don't worry. Oh, no. Is it that the terrarium still works? <laughs> I wish. That would be so funny. Oh, I would... I would LM and possibly my AO. <laughs> but I'm not going to attempt such a thing. Drone, get out of here. How do I want to go about this? Spent so long thinking about lore, I didn't think about how I actually wanted to approach this mission. Yeah, I know what you mean. I feel like defending is going to be an important part of it. I know it that sure sounds will. dumb, but like, they attack a lot. They really do. The, uh, the attacks on this are actually kind of crazy. Oh, this is a really good time for StarCraft to stop locking properly. It's always some tech thing. It is. Always has to be. There we go. It's working. Perfect. Yeah, I'm just going Lurker Aspect instantly. Yeah. The gamer it's move. very smart. What are the throbbing pieces? Oh no. Is that what you were discovering earlier? The what? The uh the alert things. Are those there normally? Yes. No. Okay. This is what we've discovered. Some okay. Sorian said it's the version with the bosses on it. Nice. Okay, I'm looking forward to that actually. This is Yeah. This is uncharted Star territory then. It is. I actually recommend this, uh, the Epic Metal Zerg mix enough that, uh, I was, like, listening to it pre-run and things like that. It's great. I I'm not getting the Epic Metal Zerg mix. Is that the bass music that you turned off? I don't know. I have no idea what I've been doing. I gotta say, Kerrigan is my favorite static defense structure. <laughs> it's the most StarCraft 1 thing that could occur. What if, what if she can just implosion the bosses? Uh, she doesn't have an implosion. Oh, yeah. Is that, she, yeah, she does. Yeah, it deals got, 150. It deals 150. Well, maybe Mengsk is really weak. There's no way that this Mengsk is, like, scarier than Orca's Mengsk, so I think I'm in good shape. I would agree with that. That's uh, the greatest boss fight we've created in any mod ever, I think. I feel bad for everyone who didn't get to play Twitch Trolls Grant, honestly, because it is a blast. Shout out to the two people that have played it. Sorry. I would actually really like to make a playable version of Legacy of the Void, since I don't think there's going to be much after it. Yeah, that would be cool. Uh, Legacy of the Void confirmed not playable. <laughs> I mean, I'm better than Hard yeah. to Swarm. No offense to your uh, Heart of the Swarm enjoyers out there, but it is definitely the third best Zerg campaign in StarCraft. <laughs> yeah. Can I talk to you? Come to the door and talk about the sunken colony, the greatest thing ever invented by Zerg. 
wonder if Abathur invented the song. He probably did. Genetically perfect. I have Razor Swarm, right. I have a static defense structure at Psy Storm. That's it's like better Psy good. Storm. Actually, it might be exactly the same. I don't know. Oh, the the epic muta mix just started for me. It just oh, took nice. a while. I feel like I'm so far behind right now, and I don't like it. Good enough. Safe successful. Good. Are you attacking already? Yes. No, I wanted to see if uh, the save could work. Okay. I just associate saving with like getting ready to fight. I was like, my goodness, you are fast. Uh, nope. Nope. Nowhere near there. Oh, you're like microing four hydras super, super hard to go kill the UED. That'd be very cool. On maximum difficulty, you have to beat this mission by going Defiler, uh, Defiler Lurker at every ramp, and then taking hidden bases that are in the corners of the map. It is yeah, the max difficulty in this mod is bad. I just don't think it's, it's well made. It's too it's hard. The changes to Umbrella Alley is maybe the single biggest nerf I've seen in Mass Recall. It's awful. <laughs> what is this garbage? I uh, severely overestimated their ability to punish uh, a move out, so I have not taken that third yet. Well, they're technically punishing my third, so... Okay. Still don't have a lurker button. Oh, what is happening? Um, I have a hydralis stuck in stasis. Normal. All right. Well, I'm just gonna choose to believe in him. Um. Okay. Dugal, be kind. He said, I expect results, and then, uh, intimidating, in an intimidating way, and now I'm scared for my life. Oh. Yeah, this is, it's like, just a completely new thing for us here, that we have to finish on, and that is super exciting. Yeah. There it is. is. You've done so many more of these than I have, it makes me... I, rem I remember things you do in your playthroughs, I'm just like, oh my Gosh, why haven't I done this yet? Upgrades like, are the very first thing you get. No, of course. So, yep, haven't got any. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's always super important because the, you know, I enemies... Go! What? Why didn't he do anything when, you, when he said it to you? He didn't do anything to me either. No, 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 he did or... stuff to me. <laughs> He attacked with, like, Valkyrie something. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was, uh, we did to me. It just was at the natural. It was a jump scare. I expected him to be passive because of what you said. I was tricked. Bamboozled. And otherwise deceived. No, nah, besides that, Very it was good. actually fine. All right. Just a trick and a bamboozle, honestly. Instinctively, that should have been a really scary Reaver attack, but Mass Recall Reavers. Mass Recall Reavers are sure a thing. You remember the Reavers when we played uh, co-op? In I sure do. I remember them very fondly. Yeah, they're they're good units. For anyone who doesn't remember the Reaver, it's uh, Terran. No, Pr Protoss Brood War Mission Four. Oh. Uh, the yep. one where. You uh, drop Reavers and Kerrigans on the base. Yeah, that was a good one. I'm not going to spoil what happens, but it's fun, definitely... Fun memory. It put friendly in friendly fire. 
Don't spoil anything, though, Grant. I'll never know. Oh, wait! Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, it's just a reaver. I feel so slow not having my screen hotkeys. I, I don't know what it says about me that I feel slower right now than I did, uh... You with, out. um... Oh, there you go. Yeah, like... I feel like I'm macroing slower in this than when I just played in StarCraft 1. It's I just because feel... it doesn't take as much, but... No, I feel like uh, Mastery Called Macro is slower than StarCraft 2 as well. Like, I don't know, something about it feels weird. Oh. Mr. Dugal, what are you doing? You're getting Dougald. I sure am. Holy smokes. Getting doogled for my life savings. Chat, I'll have you guys notice that as soon as I learned that, Kerrigan went straight to the top. Wish I could burrow Kerrigan so she doesn't get F2'd with my army. Yeah, I feel the same way. I'm a bit scared because a while ago Minx said his thing and then he just didn't do anything. But maybe he's just, you know, he's busy macroing siege tanks. Dugal sent siege tanks against me. That that terrifies me. Oh. Yeah, I remember I in Mass Recall the uh ramp up into Dugal's base is, like, really scary. Oh, it's... Not looking forward to it. <laughs> I always feel a little bit dumb when I have any issues with High Templar. Or not High Templar, sorry, Dark Templar. When I'm playing yeah. Zerg. It's I like, know. I really shouldn't. High Templar casually having access to Psystorm already. What are you doing? You Arcturus. Getting Mengsked? I'm getting Mengsky boyed. Yep, by actual Mengs too. Not just, no. not just a unit. Oh, the artist yeah. currently known as Mengsk. Duke's Revenge flew over and beat the heck out of one of my bases. It's actually the uh, Mass Recall, or uh, TTG Minx. That's awesome. I'm uh, very upset about it. Mind control is a bit annoying. The time for action is upon us. While the Zerg still muster their forces. You both converged on very similar looking army compositions, but your attack priorities are very different. I mean, uh, what's my, what good Zerg my units? <laughs> kind of what you do in Brudor. As a Mutalisk fan, I'm insulted right now. Uh, did you see the Maelstroms and the Psystorms, my dude? <laughs> I guess that spoils where I went. <laughs> I think the... The mentioning of the mind control did the same. Well, he could have Dugal... attacked with it. Why is Mengsk attacking your main base? Why is Artanis attacking my natural? Uh oh. Oh, that's bad. That's no bueno. Kerrigan, do not force us to destroy you. You will be hopelessly outnumbered. Ha. Wow, uh. Turns out the added commanders are pretty good. Oh my god! Alright, Manx is attacking me too. So at least we're even there. What the actual heck is going on? Yeah, I just lost 40 supply to Artanis and then uh, Duke's Revenge I is here. I lost 95 supply. 
This is crazy. That's a lot of concussive damage hitting your base right now, Grant. Oh, yeah. What the heck am I supposed to do about that? That was so bad. And I want to make sure I don't lose care again. Oh, that's interesting. They're immortal and they go home. Hmm. Yeah, that's even better. So we got to kill them in their own base. I mean, that's not hard to deal with. Now that I think about it. Oh god! Um. How do you build a Hydralis down? Good question, no clue. Uh, Artanis is now camping my natural with his mothership. Yeah, I just had to push him away from one of my bases. And now he is slowly walking away at 1 HP. Yeah, I got hit by Mengsk and Artanis at the same time while I was attacking the UED, so I lost, uh... So I lost 120 supply. Um... I am not in a good spot. I think I'm in a little bit better spot, but I'm not feeling great either way. Oh my god. I'm yeah, I was the... I was feeling very confident until I wasn't. Yeah, it sounds like the hero attacks uh they did a bit more damage to you than me. So I'm hoping that evened things up a bit. I still think it's really cool. I'm glad it exists. I, I'm glad enough that it exists. Why is there photon cannons there? No! We should do a vote in chat uh, if there's a mod there to do a poll for who they think is going to win because it's so close. And then if you vote for the wrong person, you uh, you have to give them a sub. <laughs> oh boy. Well, it's rude to vote for the wrong person. You're saying that like Literally. you have to if you the person who uh, you know what? I mean. Yeah. Sorry. You have to subscribe <laughs> to the channel, but if you. If you say Grant wins and I do, and Grant wins, it's rude. Yeah, so you got a gift and apology sub to Ace. I just I started saying it, and then battle cruisers were like, "Allow me to introduce myself." I have ten hatch production, and I, I, I that's not enough. The Shield of Ire has done something. It stasis itself. I wish your Shield of Ire, or my Shield of Ire, was as dumb as yours. No, it's got some, like, stall thing where it gets reduced really low and then it stasis itself to keep itself alive. Oh, okay. Probably shouldn't be telling you that. It stasis like everything in a big area around it. Not keep a base alive right now. Saber this One down. Kerrigan. For the Protoss will never forget your treachery. We shall be watching you. Is a shield of iron just gonna camp the base now? Forever? I hope not.
Oh no, it just sits there. Wait, it still moves. I hope it doesn't gain an attack. Got Maelstrom twice. Oh, Let's it go. does! Got Planet Cracker! Never mind, not just commanding there! Uh, so, I don't know how to fight the, uh, the big boys after they are defeated. <laughs> But they do retain Planet Cracker. Yum. I'm. This is. Bonkers. All forces are under attack. Ooh, radiate. I love... Oh, what? Can you even... Is everything okay, I Captain? have no words for how things are going currently. It's not good. Uh-oh. I'm so sorry. Ah, uh, you know. Happens. Is it that the UED is ridiculous? Because I'm finding that as well. Um, UED might be a little stronger than I may have given them credit. It's also the fact that the heroes respawn. I yeah. don't understand how how to I don't either. handle this. They, in the main, I've I've destroyed all of the UED. They they have nothing left. Yeah, and the hero's and, just camping in the main. That's the same with me and the Protoss. Artanis is just he lives there now. And yeah. if you try to take the base, you just planet crackers it. Which well, I find I'm gonna very try and funny. kill every building, but I don't know what to do about this. Does it matter? You like you can just leave. Like it uh they surrender without the hero dying. Oh, okay. I must have had a production structure live. Yeah, there's going to be a building somewhere. There it is. So behind, but that's... Okay. I hope that hero does not show back up. Alright, not excited about this part. It looks like when you killed it after the production structures went down, it didn't come back. Oh. I'm I hoping think, so. I think Grant killed uh, the Shield of Ire before killing all the production structures, and so it came back still because it was already in its like respawn phase. I believe you're correct okay. about that. Yep. The Alexander has not returned. Until co-op. Well, there goes the overlords. I wish I knew where more bases were on this map. Yeah, I only know where the bases Ironic. I can clear are. <laughs> yeah. I know there's a couple more, but good luck to me for finding them. Yeah, I think they're, like, in the weird corners, like, on, uh, right under the UED base, there's a base, I believe. I think I'm not so. super sure, though. I think the eastern Protoss outpost has one, and then the Protoss main has one. Whoa, firebat drop. I've been waiting for Minx to attack again with a bunch of Scourge, and I just feel like he's not really interested anymore. It's like he knows my strategies. Oh, well, there goes all the Scourge to one Valkyrie. Ace, do not lose your natural expansion challenge. Impossible. Whoa! Ultras. Oh, are they blocked? Oh. They stasis an Archon. Now I can't put down a hatchery again until it thaws out. That is... <laughs> that's so funny. It really does feel StarCraft 1 when stuff like that happens. Oh, they're so petty. That's such a big maelstrom. 
Yeah. Where even are my lurkers? Here they are. Okay, I'm ready to go. I got the epic Zerg mix going again. That means it's victory time. Oh boy. I'm in danger now. UED kind of wrecked me the first time I attacked into it, though. It was pain. Yep. Yep. You vastly underestimate me. Oh, it's because I vastly underestimate him. That's why. Now, what kind of reputation would they... would lead you to underestimating them? That's what the U stands for. Underestimated Earth Directorate. There you go. <laughs> Nuclear launch detected. Minsk, I'm gonna have to ask you to calm down just a little bit. Yeah, that boy is gonna be a pain, isn't he? This is taking me back to my late game Zerg ladder days <laughs> in uh, StarCraft 2. Just make sure to keep uh, the bases up, keep stuff moving around, don't get static. You ready down? That's two for you? Yep. Uh, I think you've got this. I don't know, I don't have you enough. met Arcturus Mengsk? <laughs> I have. We're gonna be here a couple more hours. I found the ghost that uh, nuked me. It will be interesting sport to see how far we get. Oh, I'm getting nuked too. Oh, never mind. Come on, Antenna. <laughs> I like how Antenna has been the like protagonist of the run. He's more siege tank than man. <laughs> Is this ghost? There he is. Oh my god. I just don't. Uh, Artanis has decided I do not get that base. Oh yeah, the one. That's going to be. Yeah, he's uh, the natural. He's a nice guy. Thanks. I'm using a uh, Edmund Duke maneuver or a uh, anti-Duke maneuver. 
<laughs> the Edmund Duke maneuver is crash your capital ship and then complain. The, yeah, the uh, the anti Duke maneuver. Get the AI to bring you a couple drop ships. That's the Duke maneuver. <laughs> Where's the nuke? I am running out of money. Their defenses won't last long against us. Oh my god, it hit every production structure. A nuke? Oh. Oh, that's so bad. Oh. That's very bad. Ladies they and gentlemen, killed... this sounds pretty good. I have... I can build drones and overlords. Oh! I am max, so I'm not... The... The... I cannot build a Hydroden. Yeah, fortunately, you only need, like, three structures in order to yeah. Zerg. What? I'm getting save failed, by the way, so just be careful. Okay. I caught you at a bad time. I'm getting mission failed if I don't watch out. I, uh... Lost everything. Nice. I'm not even close. Oh, man. Well done. Well done, Grant. That was a really close run. I'm so glad that it was as close as it was. It really, oh, really sure. was enjoyable. I. You can see where I'm at currently if you uh feel like checking it out. I went to dive uh, Mr. Edmund, or uh, AoE thing that while 50 mutalisks almost instantly. Oh, yeah, I mean, I, oh, you're going mutas. I, I went, so I went ground stuff into air stuff because I figure I can start building a, uh, you no, know, I went ground to start and then I was going to transition into air to, uh, you know, beat up Mengsk real easy. Turns out Mengsk was easy whatsoever, like, he was not hard. Oh, I had a hard time with Manx because he had more siege tanks than normal, and I never transitioned oh, into air. 